What is going on guys? My name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here with another episode of Weebs with the Round Table. This is the second take because my dumbass forgot to uh, turn on sounds for other people. <laughs> thankfully, oh, thankfully, well, thankfully we did not get past introductions. <laughs> but yes, unfortunately, Memory NK was not able to join us due to uh, preoccupied things. He had he he was doing the horrible thing of being in a real life situation. Hey, Which is that, terrible. That, that, that motherfucker has the audacity <laughs> to prefer basketball over us. I know. We are talking well, about I'm... anime titties. Fucking and Wade. he's watching guys bounce around the ball. <laughs> I don't know. That's the definition of a normie right there. <laughs> but my name is Roman back again from Roman Reviews here. And I'm going to go down the list. We're going to go down the list and introduce ourselves for you, for those who don't know. And I'll hand off to the next person. What's up, guys? This is Rio Station here, and uh, this is I'm also an anime reactor as well. I, only, I just started reacting a uh, lot of uh, like uh, last year and went last year in winter, and I'm kind of just getting it, trying to just getting into it. I'm still not do I'm still not the kind of guy you call professional reactor, but I do my best. And uh, right now, I'm also you know trying to work with this uh, Patreon page thing, but I'm, it's probably going to go nowhere. But I do want to you know. Because I don't want to dis disappoint, like when I stop reacting to certain stuff. But if like people request it, I will try to react to it on a separately. But it won't be on YouTube and, and all that. It will just be on like a, a Patreon. Like I'm still trying to work uh, King Kingston and all that. And maybe it will get done. Maybe it won't. But uh, yeah. And uh, next, the next person. All the way from down under. <laughs> Hi guys, want to react to it? That was so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, ramen, the fuck you! <laughs> Don't eat some ramen. Wow. <laughs> I can just imagine you saying okay. that in your intro. <laughs> I would love to see that. <laughs> it's the thunder what? from down under. <laughs> from down under comes Smiley Reacts. <laughs> I've been reacting now for about like two years, I think. Um, I'm so I'm. Got the ropes a bit more, unlike my fellow reactor who just spoke, Ryu. Uh, but I'm still not, I still don't consider myself a professional, so you can find me at Smiley Reacts. Uh, I'm, I, only, I only do reactions, so I'll move on to the next person. Uh, what's up, everyone? Kawaiku here. I'm an I'm a anime reactor, anime lover, part time SoundCloud rapper, uh, full time miserable adult. Um, uh, yeah, I've been doing live reactions for ever since like 2016, and I'm still doing it right now. Um, my new channel, The Quiet Crew Reloaded, which I created in April, and uh, yeah, that's it. And then we have someone you probably not have not heard his sexy voice in quite a while. Or I, I did not be. expect that last part, <laughs> except it. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, hey everyone, this is LAR Games, and uh, I have not been here in a while, and for the same reason I've not been here in a while, I do apologize if I have to leave early, but yeah, I'm also an anime reactor. Uh, if you've seen the very first episode, and I, I'm actually quite surprised if you've kept up for this long, to be honest. I, I don't know what you guys talk about <laughs> while I'm not here. <laughs> uh, let's see, the the episodes that you weren't here, we were trashing you, saying that you were a piece of shit because you couldn't make it. I swear Okay, so... so... <laughs> So, so if that's the case, then uh, see, if people have kept watching after that, they're probably not here for me. They're probably here for me bashing. <laughs> no, don't worry. He's oh, back. Uh, the good old fuck law era. It was the fuck law era. <laughs> wow. Uh, <laughs> no, but he's back, so therefore we can just make fun of him because, oh, no, no. By the way, we want to make it, we want to put it on the record that law. Don't. Don't. <laughs> really <laughs> likes. Big old anime. <laughs> F -H -H this? He loves them big titties. Some big old bazongas. Like oh. big old dong honkaroos. Mm -hmm. Well, <laughs> well that's, at least we got that out of the way. <laughs> well, yeah. Thank Everyone you. knows the absolute truth now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we don't judge. We do say that with giant quotations. But yes, <laughs> we're going to be talking today about our favorite shows from Winter 2019. And honestly, I, I highly doubt anything's going to beat Winter 2019 so far. 
For judging yeah, from like yeah. everything that's like being planned to come out, and even with this ne- with this current season, I don't think Winter's gonna be beat in terms of just how much right. good shows came out. But I don't know who wants to jump into it. I don't know, um, Lar. What shows did you watch, and what did you like find the most like entertaining from last season? Well, obviously, the the one that stood out the most, and sadly, the one I could not react to blind was Kaguya Sama. Yeah. Um, I think that's pretty much almost everyone's favorite. But here's the thing: I think it's actually if you like comedy, thing. of yeah. course. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, 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 it's one of the best comedies of the last couple of years, and it, I, I would say. But I think it was actually kind of cool though, because me and you were, I think, are the only ones who actually read the manga. But we got to see how good of an adaptation it was, and how good it separated itself and made it unique at the same time, because it was so good that they animated scenes. And they made like they made the scenes actually funnier because of one the music, and two just like how they were able to a- uh, animate it. A One Pictures did a phenomenal job with Kaguya Sama, and I think it was super popular. I know it was super popular in Japan, so I highly doubt we're not going to get a second announcement, second season announcement soon. I've spoken about this in uh, other reactions before, but whenever I, I I've read something like a comedy before, like I actually watch it. In, in the anime version, I always notice that when it comes to comedy, uh, the addition of actual timing always improves the, the jokes way more than a written version of, of the jokes. Oh, absolutely. So uh, mm-hmm. seeing it animated not only just because of the addition of timing, but also the incredible like art direction and <laughs> for one episode, the like one of the most almost unprecedented, the well done animation, uh, it, it improves it a lot. Even oh, the yeah. fact that they skip a lot of stuff didn't really matter because the stuff they did include was so much better. Oh, yeah, yeah. And there was some things like they did we... Go ahead, go ahead. I was going to say, and can we at least bring up the the amazing Chica dance? That was oh, what yeah. I was talking about. Because when I said the Chica dance. Because that, really that, was that, really that, I was really hoping that would have been the official second ED. Like, that would have carried on for, like, the rest of the Yeah, think, that, that, was... that should have been the... It was to promote Blu-ray sales. What? That entire dance was to promote Blu-ray sales. That was it. That's the only reason why I was on that third episode, and that's the only time you ever saw it. It was to promote yeah. Blu-ray, and goddamn, if I saw that, take my money. I'm throwing my wallet at at my screen right now. That was a lot. That was a lot of budget. A lot more budget than they that they put than in the, the combined likes of Day Day Life season three and two hour. In that is, yeah, three. that is one I'm of the most saying. beautifully animated things in general not just dances not just scenes but in terms of the just pure animation i don't know if it was roto animation it uh, i don't i it, I did, heard, it I was heard drawn the... it was drawn like i actually have liked a picture a, a, a actual video on twitter and it was actually hand drawn but i think they use like a certain type of animation I, it might have been roto animation i'm not entirely sure but it was phenomenal i do want to say one thing though and i don't know if this is going to get me any hate but i mean i have noticed Probably. that <laughs> Probably, yeah. That dance <laughs> kind of pre preconditioned people into thinking that Chica is best girl for some reason. Oh, you're gonna oh. go into that territory? You're gonna go into that territory? <laughs> you are. You just got back. They're all. They're this all is their first they're all podcast they're all back. Good. We're doing this now. <laughs> they got <their>, Okay, <laughs> Laura. I mean, I'm not against it because they're all good. They're all good in their in their own way, man. Oh yeah, I love Chica. I'm not saying she's bad or anything. I, I love her like a her lot. Her personality is amazing. Like, but it, yeah, she doesn't compare to Kaguya, <laughs> especially <laughs> later on. Ooh. As someone as we have both read the manga, like she gets so good later on. Yeah, I, I, <laughs> like it's kind of like a bias thing because like most of the uh, a lot of the time uh, the the reason people even like watch the show is because they see that she can dance first yeah. and they're watching it for her. Yeah. So they come into this anime kind of thinking, oh, I'm watching this for her and she's gonna be the best and all that. And it's very hard to change someone's mind like that. I so that. Uh, I do think that for the most part, people who read the manga first do prefer Kaguya a lot more than than Chika. But anime people tend to prefer Chika because of the dance. And, yeah, I can see you know, the whole thing. Did like uh, to be fair, Zaka. I like Chica before the uh, dance popped up. Yeah, she definitely had a lot more like presence on screen because of like she was. I do she like, was like the foil. The she was the foil to their plan for the most part in the early chapters. One of the chapters in the manga, uh, 
it was a chapter they made like when the anime was announced Mm -hmm. and they were going over like about otaku things and like about how characters look and talk and stuff and then one of the lines was where chica was saying uh why do characters look like uh, elementary schoolers and talk with high-pitched voices and stuff while showing a picture a close-up of chica's face and it's funny because (laughs) they made the voice perfect for her like that's the same kind of voice the actor i I will admit that that is one of the best performances for voice actors and actresses on both ends that entire cast uh, and ensemble was perfect. Ishigami's voice nailed it. Oh, yeah. Kaguya nailed it. She, right. um, she, um, the voice actors, went, like they, it, they really enjoy. I, I bet the voice actors really enjoyed doing their job. Oh yeah, like, I can uh, almost feel. Oh like, yeah. Like uh, uh, one of my favorite things is when Kaguya kind of like starts scheming, but then as she's going further into her line of thought, she starts getting squeakier and squeakier. Yep, 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 yep. Or, oh. or even like like uh, I think it was like like the second or third to last episode, and she was like, she was like, right, 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 and she was like, nah, 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 nah. Oh yeah. Nah, yeah. Nah, nah. Oh. And they were just going back and forth and back and forth. And like like one thing I will always say I will say that Kaguya Sama did amazing compared to the manga was little things, and it, it usually had to do with Chika. Like, there was one scene I couldn't help but laugh my ass off. It was during the last episode, and um, the president was cleaning really quickly. And he yes. was dusting, <laughs> and you just see, and you just see Ka- um, um, Chica coughing. Oh, the finale. I don't know why. And yeah, she was coughing really quickly when he was dusting really fast. I lost my shit because it would, it, like, in the manga, you wouldn't really laugh at that. Like, you just see her walking away coughing. But it was just so, like, purposely done. It was just so well done. I loved it. I, I absolutely loved it. And I can honestly say that the mo- the anime did a better adaptation. Uh, it's it probably the best adaptation I've ever seen from a manga. Because I think it's actually better than the manga from what they added, um, adapted. Absolutely. Here's something I want to say about the final episode. And this is kind of... I feel like this is kind of like an unpopular opinion. Okay. So, the final episode. I really... Like, the first half was really sweet. Like, I really loved the first half. It was, like, easily one of the most beautiful things mm-hmm. to, like, come out this this year. The problem mm-hmm. is, is that I ha- the main problem I have with it is on the second half. Because in the second, like, near the end of the episode, they act like, everyone acts like, like, everyone, everything's back to normal. Like, they go back, everything goes back to normal. Which kind of sucks, because, like, like, you think from something... Oh, you haven't seen like, any, you haven't seen anything yet. If you think <laughs> it, it does go that way, they kind of have that same mentality. But in all honesty, like without spoiling anything, of course, there is moments where like they'll have something really big happen between the two, and then they kind of just play it off. But it's still there in the back of their minds. Uh, and yeah, the thing the... is, like as as the the series progresses, things more become more. more and more cohesive and longer format if that makes any sense like Mm -hmm. things continue longer than just you know a regular skit oh yeah and like i don't if we do get a second season i do think if we do we're probably going to end it on like ishigami's backstory because ishigami's backstory is like serious it's a serious subject and i thought it was done very well and i i do think we're going to get a second season i it, it was super popular in the west super popular in the east just hoping we do really, really get that. But is there anything else just you guys so want to talk about of Kaguya before we wrap it up? Because I know we spent like a good portion. Just yeah, talking. I just, I just, yeah. I was just hoping that some, like we got at least something to come out of the, like the the the, the whole summer festival arc. Oh, like some that oh, signifies yeah. like just how much it meant to the characters. I'm you so glad I mean? they edited it there though. Like when when you read the manga, it's like yeah, that's definitely like a season finale. Yeah, that's like, like that. That on, yeah, looking back and I was like that is the perfect spot for a season finale. Because there is, like, the shenanigans of, like, I'm going to make him confess to him this. But things are changing a little bit, like, their mentality later on. And it starts it starts around this point, but then it gets more and more later on. So this is, like, the perfect spot to drop it. In terms of, like, also, if you even compare, like, their personalities or, like, their mentalities from the beginning of the anime to the end of the anime, it has changed. Oh, yeah. they, they do change mm-hmm. how oh, yeah. they go about everything and how they think about, like, approaching certain situations and stuff like that. They start to... Uh, compromise a bit more when it comes to their pride oh yeah yeah it it it, it, it it's really good it gets really really they, good. It, there is actual progression and... oh absolutely uh, the thing there, is like i was i was I, reading like... a chapter uh, give me just a, like i was reading a chapter 
Not spoiling. I started anything. reading it, by the way. Oh, I, I started reading Kagura Sama now. Good man. But there was a chapter I I fangirled. I, I I legitimately fangirl. Me a 215, 225, I don't know how much. Six two male was in my bed. I'm like, what? Yeah, don't don't visualize that, please. Um <laughs> I have nightmares. Too late. Too late. <laughs> but yeah, it like like it has moments of like actual progression and there is like scenes like remember the scene when he she pulls him into the in in into her bed when she's like having a fever fever yeah. oh, episode. Oh, yeah. that, how can I remember that? Yes. Oh, the, the moment I first saw that, I was I was like a little like I was a fangirl then when I first saw that, and I was just like ah. <laughs> and, and like there's a scene where like the reverse happens later on, and it's the same thing. Like there is progression that happens, so like so people don't have to worry about like oh it's gonna be the same knick knack. They keep on going back and forth, and it, nothing progresses. No, there is progression, especially later on. Like Speaking of progression, there is one thing that has always bothered me, even about the, about the manga, like even more in the manga because it goes further than the anime. But it has to do with the three side characters that constantly come into the story to kind of like be a, a little bit of a foil to the relationship between Kaguya and Shirogane. I, I don't like them at all. I really dislike them. Every time they show up, they just kind of ruin my experience. Are you talking about Miku? One of them? Uh, I forgot their names. Basically, the guy and his girlfriend, and then the, the oh, third girl. Oh, the guy and the girlfriend who show up. Um, they're almost like a medium. Like, they're like... if They're kind of like, like a medium. Wait, are you talking about, like, the two characters that, like, were asking Kagi and, and yes, Shogun? They actually, they, actually, yeah, they, actually, they actually play more roles later on. It's actually kind of funny. Yeah, they are. Some, I, I, I hate don't, it. Yeah, I, I hate it know, so much. I don't know their names at all, honestly. But then Miku is a character who gets shown at the very end of the episode of uh, episode twelve, um, and she actually becomes a big part of the role later on. Um, but yeah, I find their whole thing completely uninteresting, <laughs> and I, I just want to get back to like the jokes themselves. While they're like when it has to do with Kage and Shiragane interacting with them, that's good. But like their actual story itself. I, I couldn't care less. Uh, yeah, I can see that. Thankfully, uh, I don't think they're gonna like if they ever animate it. I don't animate it. I don't think they're gonna spend too much time on it. Like maybe half an episode, if that. If also, that. like it's it also makes it worse. It kind of like whenever they show up, it's almost like they're, they're kind of like. It, since it's very easy to compare them to Shirogane and Kaguya, it's kind of like they're almost mm -hmm. gloating about their relationship every single time they come up. Oh yeah, and it does bother me because like. Oh uh, yeah. I compared to the that. struggles and. Mm -hmm. All that stuff that they're going through, they just like keep progressing and too fast, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, so it's really annoying to me. All right. Is there anything, anything else you guys uh, want to talk about? Because there's another show that I know all of us have, are, are at least wa have at least watched. But anything else you guys um, want to talk about? Like bring up about Kaguya? I think I'm uh, done. I, I got well, to I did, well, I did, well, I did like. give it 10 out of 10. Oh, yeah. For sure. I mean, Easily. the payoff. Ooh. The, the the overall journey and the fact that there is progression, yeah, unlike unlike a certain other show, <coughs> Nisekoi. <coughs> we, don't talk, we don't talk about Nisekoi. We don't talk about Nisekoi. Please, no. I'm oh gonna, God, we're gonna have. A I would I would rant about it right now, but I'd rather not because I'm gonna trigger. <laughs> yeah. I still think Ishigami is one of the best bros of Winter. Oh, 20. oh Ishigami is Ishigami great. Is great. He's a bro for sure, man. I still think... Okay, quick what? second before... I know I'm going back to Kaguya Sama, but the scene where he's talking about the archery and how, like, oh Kaguya my... has a flat chest, <laughs> I was laughing so oh much. That's a good bet. No, no, no. I'm gonna that's share another bet. I'm going to share a gift. I'm going to share is a gift. This... Hold up. <laughs> is, it, is it the scene where, like... Him and uh, Shirogana were laying under the tree. No, 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 no. It was the scene where they're in the club, pre uh, they're in the club room, um, and they're talking about like archery, and oh, he's saying oh, that yeah, Kaguya yeah, has small yeah. boobs, and I'll, she's right behind I'll look him. Look in the chat. Look in the chat. Oh yeah, that scene. Oh yeah, where Chica waxed him. Yeah, yeah, that, 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 that was great. Yeah, that, that was great. I, I actually, I think I cried. Like, I was laughing so hard, I was crying. <laughs> He deserves that. Oh, that's, 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 <laughs> that's just making me laugh at it again. <laughs> that, it, that, okay, the name says it all. I wanted, I, mean, I, I wanted to do bad. that to him myself. I mean, so I'm glad that I you mean, I feel bad, bad for Ishigami because he got, he gets traumatized by Kaguya, but sometimes he just deserves it. Like he, it, really he just does. has it coming toward him. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, he, he is saying it right, but I mean. He kind of deserved it on the spot, right? There. Yeah. I mean, he just went a little too far. <laughs> but yeah. All right. But another show. I mean, right. he, he was praising flat chests, and that's good. But it wasn't <laughs> intentional. 
<laughs> oh, 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 I was waiting for there. you to at least pitch it on that one. There. I think we all see a little bit of ourselves. Yes, yes, we do. Yes, we do. Yeah, we totally probably. Do. Mm. All right, but I another, don't. He's anti. All right, we need to move on. Um, another so show we need, that we need to move on. Yeah, another show that I think almost all of us watched. I'm pretty sure it was Rise of the Shield Hero. Woo! Yes. Yeah, that sounds pretty great. Not, not I had words about this one, so be careful. Oh, yeah. I, okay. Uh, wait, I know, okay. So I know a lot of people have been like very adamant about like, oh, this is not this is not the same as the light novel. Ree! And it just pisses me off because I see some comments like, ah, oh, this character doesn't act like this, or oh, now Fumi acted more like a dick in this part, but now he's nice. So what the hell? And I'm like, bitch, shut the fuck up. I'm enjoying it. See, I understand that. But okay. at the same time, the reason I watch animes first, because, okay, before I watched this, like, it was, like, a couple seasons before it was it was even aired, uh, I knew that it was going to come out for, as an anime. So I refrain from reading the source material because I like to watch the animes first mm -hmm. because they always leave stuff out. They always change things, and they're always generally worse. So I like starting at a certain point and then going up by reading the source material and enjoying it even more. So the fact that Shield Hero, I mean, I have been enjoying it quite a bit, yep. but there are a few things that bother me that I'm excited to get to in the novels. Yeah. It's apparently I'm not explained in the, in the novels anyway, so forget it. Well, like, okay, so like, <laughs> I don't I know about that. I try to keep an optimistic view because like, like I, whenever I read or, or watch something and I've read the original source material, I try to look at it and like, okay, how are they going to make it different? I want to see this scene, but I want to see it animated because I want to see this action scene that way. I don't like there, unless it's like to a point where like it's major like, they can do a complete 180 flip on something or completely leave out an incredibly important detail or scene. I can see that. But... I heard the red, the red novel is completely different to the light novel. And, in fact, it's gone to the point to which people have gone, yeah, about the red novel, it's non-canon because it's completely and utterly different to the light novel, so please don't read it. Mm, okay. I'm probably going to read the, the web novel. It's much easier to access. And if there's certain things... They're too different. I might just end up reading the light novel after that. Yeah, but I don't, know. I don't um, want to talk. I don't, I don't want to say too much on this because it is continuing. Um, which I'm I'm thankful for. Yeah. I'm, I'm actually thankful um, that I'm, it's gonna I'm, I'm, I'm actually Lord Gang still has to watch the latest episode because I haven't gone around to episode thirteen yet. Um, yeah, I need to catch right. up on that. Uh, okay. There, can, can I can I input can I input on this? Yeah, go. And this might turn on to a long ra a long ramble, <laughs> but. Uh, I'm going to have to talk about how a lot of people, especially my, there we got other reactors, uh, Sun and uh, Jojo, they had thought, like bad, negative thoughts about how um, episode 13 turned out. Well, let me just tell you, talk, let, me just tell, um, let me just tell, okay, let me just tell you something right here. Yeah, and, I don't know. Uh, let me just tell well, you Don't something. spoil anything because Laura hasn't seen it. Let me just tell you something right here. This this show is not supposed to be happy go is not your typical happy go lucky Isaka that I keep seeing. Oh, yeah. I mean, oh, yeah. if you have it's, it's already not. making a statement right now that oh when you think everything's just gonna be going fine, so like her all of a sudden it's just this disgusting stuff thrown at the, the MC, right? Like keep like going and going. Like and we're not supposed to like we're not supposed to like Mina at all. Like, yeah, we she might look like someone that Oh, she's supposed she's supposed to be tossed aside because she's kind of like the goofy team rock this sort of thing. But no, she's a thorn she's a thorn in the ass, right? What now. are you talking and, about? Uh, Mine is the best girl in all of that. I can't say that. I I'm actually well, oh, no, I she almost threw up. I almost threw up saying so? that. I thought she was the best thing everyone's favorite. I like screw Kaguya, screw Hayasaka, screw Screw Chica. Screw She's Chica. really the best girl oh. of 2019. I want to throw up and kill myself by saying that. Oh yeah, sorry. Actually, one of the things I wanted to bring up actually is that even though we all know Multi is a complete and utter bitch, but yes. I have got you got to praise the voice actress because <laughs> she's doing a great job at this of turning this like she's really putting it all into this into this character of making her completely unlikable and it's working so well. Yeah, but so yeah. I've got to Yeah, yeah that's the voice actress is great. Yeah, but that's going back to what, 
going back to what Ryu say, I I do understand. Like, yeah, it, it's not supposed to be a happy-go-lucky isekai. And that's kind of why I like it. That's why a lot of people are liking it, because it's not, like, a happy-go-lucky. Yeah, but there's some moments, like, with other shows, like, yeah, there's some moments of, like bad things but it's mostly good and the main character being a bad no from the get-go from the very first episode he is thrown under the bus he is made a bad guy in everyone else's eyes he is on the wrong side he is on the underhanded foot the entire time and he still is there is not a single mm-hmm. moment where he is like in a good standing for everyone sure there's so he's yeah. in a good standing for some people but yeah for the most part he is still vilified by most of the country that he's in and from the most, and I love that. I love that the fact we're we're cheering up, we're making, a, they have a hero that they're che- making us cheer on because he's already in an unfair predicament. So it makes us want to cheer for him. So he's out of that predicament. But they're gonna continue. And that's more. Him. Yeah, they're not gonna I, make it. And that's why the title works so well. It's the rise of the shield hero. Yeah, yeah. It's I do want to say something specific though. Uh, this this type of isekai I've actually read a lot. And usually, they do start out like all dark and horrible for the main character, but eventually they do turn into a much happier version of everything, where uh, the main character ends up just being much happier than the people that um, that he wants to take revenge on, essentially. So that is the perfect revenge, and that's usually how these types of isekais work, because I, I don't know if most of you know this, but I'm practically addicted to isekais. I read a bunch of oh, them. Oh, I know you do. <laughs> and I've read a couple of these. And this one, it's it's good, but it's not even close to my favorite, where the, the main character is in a similar situation, but much, much worse. I think the main and, thing that why, uh, I think the main reason why people like it so much is because it is a breath of fresh air in terms of the popular isekai that is out right now. Like think about it. So in terms of like, anime, yeah. Yeah, yeah, in terms of anime. I'm not I'm not counting light novels because that's a huge other field that I'm not even touching. Because <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> I know that's a completely different feel. Yeah, sure. but in terms of like popular anime, like in the anime medium, this show does take a complete different look into it. And that's why I think it's super popular. In fact, it is the number one most like show which actually was surprising but it is the most like popular show of this uh, of last season going into this season because it is the only show that is doing it for an isekai to have this kind of plot yeah there i i i'm not denying that there are other shows that follow this plot line with the whole like the guys looking for revenge or trying to crawl his way back up no no i but this is the show that is getting popular and it is the show kind of it's not the first of its kind but it's the first of the kind for a lot of people. that's the thing with this one it's quite clear that nafumi doesn't care about that all he wants is to go home so he's doing whatever he can to do that so he doesn't care about how liked he is he doesn't care about how much he's hated he just wants to go home so that's why he keeps saying to like the king I'm really doing this so I can go home. Okay. So I don't care what you do to me. I'm going to go home after this. So, you know, it's, it's a little disappointing though, because like I was talking about how I liked a certain other one much more. And that one is also getting an anime, anime adaptation, but unfortunately uh, it's production seems to be really bad. So what's the one you're talking uh, which, about? Which one, which, one is this? which one is that? Ari Ferretta. I don't know if you guys ever heard of that. Oh, I heard. Oh, I heard about it. I heard about oh, it. Oh, that's it, it's, it's white my Fox, absolute though. favorite isekai in general. It's white. And, ooh, white foxes and Azreed. Ooh, that's a, that, they have good companies behind it though. And the art, like uh, they released art quite a long time ago now, uh, and it looks quite atrocious compared to even the light novel or web novel art. Um, but that that's not like that's besides the point because it could still be good besides having bad art. Uh, I did see the I did see the PV. It it doesn't seem bad, but it just like when I look at when I did look at the 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 light novel and then the and then the P, and the PV is just like it can't really compare. Like the tra- the the animation by itself isn't bad. It, it just can't really compare to what the artwork was in the light novel. So I can get not that I've seen the not that I've read it, but it's just like I've I've seen some of the artwork for it because when when people told me about it from the light novel. And I can see your point on that. But there, there's one thing I'm really scared about, though, because uh, just like in Shield Hero, how they're kind of like doing a whole bunch of time skips, which yeah. I've been told that they don't do in the novels. 
uh, I'm afraid that they're going to sp like speed through one of the best parts in the entire novel just to introduce the other characters that join him faster. Mm. Like ideally, they would they would do that entire part as the anime. If it was like a twelve episode series, the entire first part would be the the, the anime, like the part where he kind of like. Actually, I'm not going to spoil it, but like, there's a lot that happens before he even sets out into the world, and that that first part would be an amazing anime on its own, and there's a lot to cover. But oh, cool. I feel like since they want to hurry up, usually with anime and introduce all the characters that pop up, they're just going to rush past that and just have it be like two episodes or something instead of like the twelve it could be. I I believe a uh, lot. I believe that like if they are the only way they must. I mean, depending on the if it's single core or two core, I'm not so sure. They they are either only going to really hint at hint hint at it via some sort of you know uh di like character narrative dialogue. Or they could just, or it could just be like as if it's not there at all. Like they'll somehow make it irrelevant, like change up some stuff. And the the, the entire first part that I was talking about, yeah, the the one you said that was interesting, the the part where you ha where a lot of stuff happened before he meets the other characters. There's they could potentially do that, and that could wreck everything in terms of that would be like the life. worst thing they could possibly do because like it's like it's the most important thing that happens to him. It's it's. Just like in, I described it as being similar to Shield Hero. It's basically the effects of someone betraying him and him rising up from there. And if they skip that, that's basically skipping everything that makes him him. So mm -hmm. it'd be horrible. Can't skip something like that. I highly doubt that's part of the backstory, so they can't skip that. There's but no it would take up like an entire skip. anime to do it properly. But even if it's sync, if it's two core, if it's two core, it'd be the first half. Oh okay. Yeah, and we don't know. Though, though it'd, it'd still be kind of rushed. Yeah, yeah, I could, I could see where you're really going with that. Um, so I guess we said, uh, I guess we said enough about you. Well, yeah, I think we should move on. Uh, honestly, you, yeah. Uh, you said Rio, you said you were going to go on a long ramble. Well, yeah. yeah, but I decided, you know, it's not, it's not really worth the time <laughs> at this point. <laughs> oh um, yeah. Okay. What other show? Okay, I'm pr okay. Lar, did you watch? Uh, Promise Neverland? I already no, didn't. Nope. Oh, you're missing oh. out. Oh, wow. Bro. Yeah, oh, you man. really need to watch Promise Neverland. I know I know it's not really your forte. I know it's I don't even know what it's about. about. You. you don't know. Uh, not gonna, no, that's the best part. Go no. into it completely blind. That's the best like part. I did. Yeah, go into it completely blind. Seriously, watch it. Like, I, I don't care if you have to watch it on your own and you and you don't react to it. You need to watch The Promise Neverland. Seriously. But actually, it'd be if you reacted to it, though. I'm actually dude, going you to watch, say, dude. Like, I don't like Lar. You what? You like the you what? I know you watched Made Abyss. I'm not so sure if you uh, I enjoyed it. it or not. I mean, I, I ended up disliking that. <laughs> oh wow. Well, he well. I'm just saying. Well, it's, it, it, actually, it's one of the kind of it's kind of podcast we ever did was me praising the heck out of it, but that was before the yep, parts yep. where I started disliking it. Yep. Oh, is oh. it near the end? Yeah. Like that's the reason I don't like it. Are you gonna watch and I hear it gets even worse uh, later on. So, like, I'd even downloaded the manga and put it in, like, converted it into a file that it was readable on my e-reader, and like, I was completely ready to get into the manga after I finished the, the 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 anime. But you know, near the end, it kind of ruined every single perception I had of it. So, I never got to it, and I never probably am going to get to it. Ouch. Um, because uh, it it's kind of made an abyss mixed with. Shinsekai Yori, when you think about it, because like, what? Shinsekai Yori, which uh, if anyone has heard about that no, uh, anime, it's by it was by. Isn't Amy. that the uh, isn't that the one in which uh, World War Two guy gets reincarnated as a girl? No, that's Saga. Is that the one you're thinking about? No, 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 no. Saga Shin no, no, not, not Saga. Okay. No, Shinsekai Yori right, from the new, one. from the New World. I was uh, that was the one I was trying. I haven't, to I haven't heard of that one, so. Yeah. Yojo uh, Senki is yeah. great, by the way. If someone hasn't uh, watched it yeah, here, I highly recommend that's, that's, that one. Yeah, I still haven't. I'm going to react to it. I'm going to react to it at some point. I still haven't finished that show. Oh, the thing. <laughs> huh? That makes me sad that he hasn't finished it. It's so good. Yeah, I need. I really need to get around to that. I think I was on uh, episode. I think five or six. No, it's so good. What made an abyss? No, 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 no. No, uh, Tanya. Yojo Senki. Oh, I see. Because. Yeah. Uh, 
because like the the premises of it uh it, okay it's a dark okay, show so, it is a dark it, yeah it's dark okay so when i okay when i first okay not gonna lie when i first uh was watching it i saw the num i okay so when i saw like the premise of it i'm just like wait a minute this feels like a this this feels like either like darling in the franks or shin sekai yuri what the hell because like they're encased in they're they're like encased in the sort of you know sort of some sort of resonance everything looks kind of normal to them they're not like really made in contact with the outside world and then later on they figure out some stuff about Later on, in, in both sides, in, in like in, in all three shows, they've the kids figure out, you know, what comparing the, anything what to the Darling song, in the Franks the... in my like, <laughs> yeah, meeting. yeah, that's, 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 that's <laughs> yeah. Really if you on. say that to me, I'm like, no, I'm not gonna touch that with a 10 foot pole and maybe like a couple kilometers okay, no, away. Honestly, okay, this one, I know it's dark, yes, but it ends on a happy note, uh, for the most part, mm-hmm. for the most sort part, of, yeah, sort of. um, but. It's honestly like it's the entire journey throughout the thing. It is very dark. It is very deep. And but mm. I can honestly say that out of all the shows, it was my favorite show of last year, of last season. As Kaguya Sama, it's I, it, it's hard to pick Kaguya because Kaguya in this show is so different in terms of like genre. But Promise Neverland was one of my. It was probably one of my favorite favorite shows of last season. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. There's a reason why it's got a mouse score of 8.73. So. Yeah, it has an 8.73 on a mouse. The only one that's higher than that and d- doesn't surprise me is Mob Psycho 100 Season 2, which I haven't seen the first season. But yeah. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. That's I didn't funny. watch the second season just because I know what's happening next since I read the... Oh, uh, you read the manga. Yeah. And I hear that it's worth it even if you've seen it because the animation is really good apparently. Oh, yeah. But I've never never placed Mob Psycho above One Punch Man, so I've never been too hyped about that. uh, I'm I'm actually still one of those that still like the One Punch Punch Man season one over both seasons of Mob Psycho. But Mob Psycho is more consistent. Well, I think it'll be more consistent in terms of of overall seasons. I mean. If you People seem to be pretty upset about it. the new uh, One Punch Man season, though. We'll talk about that when we get. Yeah, to we'll that talk about that. Have, we yeah. talk about that. No, we don't talk about that. Don't we? No, but, we will talk about that. <laughs> we will. Um, yeah, we are going to be talking about. What that. other shows? Uh, so is a, so is a, <laughs> so is the ultimatum. Yeah. Okay, so. Um. What other shows did? Hold on, Lard. What other show did you watch from last season? Because I don't think I watched many. I think I watched like three. Okay, so Kaguya-sama, Shield Hero. Um, I think slime was still technically... slime was still going. Slime was still going. That was pretty slime disappointing, was actually. Uh, yeah, it, the ending of slime. Yeah, the, the second half just really, just kind of really fell off. It just felt like they were like, it was after the Gil, the Gilmon battle that they start. If it, it really just felt like they were squeezing a lot of stuff in, and it, it just felt really, really awkward. Though, like in retrospect, it is very. It's kind of expected from that type of isekai because that in itself is a genre inside of isekai, uh, the the country building isekai, and there are quite a bit of those. Uh, I mean, surprisingly, I don't know if you guys will will be surprised to hear this. If you've ever seen a uh, uh, isekai smartphone, yeah, that's the oh, same. Don't remember that. Oh, yeah. it, it's don't, the same type yeah. as slime. It's a country building isekai. It's just that smartphone didn't cover that much. It just covered the beginning. Yeah. So no, it doesn't it, get no, it fully... only co- no, it only covered it. O- it only covered the guy trying to get into these dumbass situations with the girls. That's what. That's the only thing that smartphone did. Yeah. I'm later on, he, he starts building like a country, and with the blessing of other countries and building an army and fighting mm-hmm. like interdimensional stuff. There's a bunch of stuff that happens after, and the anime well, was just kind of like a setup. Well, for, for it's unfortunately, kind of it's not. That's, yeah, it's actually it's very popular. Second season. Like smartphone is actually really, really popular. Like. That thing there. is not getting a second season, though. No. Right after what season one presented, just saying it's yeah, I mean, I I think a second season that, down the road. I mean, I didn't that think I didn't think that show was as bad as people say. I think it's like it was more like a. Yeah, I enjoyed it. It it's was the, more like the, a guilty pleasure kind of show. That's the, I mean, the, 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 that's the show that got know. me addicted to isekai. <laughs> oh, wow! Oh wow! There is oh wow. Well, there <laughs> was <laughs> one. To be honest, it's it was better. Oh, it, it was a little better than freaking mass. You know. Oh, what was that? Fuck? What was that? Fucking the other one was not fun. Like, I, I'm, not saying, that no, I'm not saying that it was so good that it got me addicted or anything. What I am saying is that, like, 
it started my spiraling descent into reading more and more isekai. Oh, okay. like I read that one, and mm-hmm. I was like, "Huh, what else is there that it's similar that's similar to this?" You know, this kind of fun. Uh, yeah, I get you. Overpowered character, you know, doing stuff in another world willy nilly, and I kept reading more and more and more, and I I can't stop anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay um so yeah like the the tensor the tensor like uh it was i it was one of those shows where i thought it would be it was going to be like i would consider it one of the be- probably the best isekai around and then it just kind of fell off and that was a disappointing one because uh i hate to i hate to really break it to fan I, I i gotta be honest like i'm one of the i'm in a minority that i don't say i can't say i hated ReZero, but i didn't enjoy ReZero. A whole lot. Ooh, that hurts. I mean, but I, I was. Oh no, I'm, I agree I'm, with you there. I mean, I'm hoping. I mean, I'm hoping that season one two did it. Uh, I will give the point that the give it the benefit of the doubt that season one did its job in setting up uh, Subaru's uh, character. So, from what was, I've heard, from what uh, I've heard, like everyone who has read the manga or light novel, they say that ReZero's second season is gonna blow your lid off. Like, well, yeah, that's what yeah. I, that's what I'm hoping for. That's what I'm really, really. They're like, oh, you have. Uh, they're like, oh, you think that was suffering? They're like, you think that was suffering? You have shit. Yeah, I'm like, oh. Yeah, that the teaser trailer for the second season, like, seriously, that just sends chills down your spine. Oh. You just like see, you see Subaru just walking through, like, everyone is dead. The body. Everyone is dead. (laughs) And he's like, (laughs) what the fuck is going on? Well, okay, so I actually, I actually got spoiled to that entire thing. But yeah. uh, this is a bit off talk uh, off topic when it you know comes to ReZero, but back on topic to like the things that we're gonna watch. Uh, are um, we still talking about last season? Yeah, no, we're, yeah, we're still we talking about last season. There's, there's okay, no, like, no, no, well, I'll, I guess I'll get to it when when we get to it. Okay. Um, because I'm just looking through the list. I know, I know. Uh, I don't want to talk about domestic girlfriend because that was a series I just. Stop the. I, just, I, I stopped the. Really I stopped the heard. manga. I don't normally do that. I actually was like, all right, this is going on too much. It, it was good where it ended. Stop. And I actually. Oh wait, it. no, I was wrong. This is the season that currently aired, and I missed it. Huh? What? There, there there's <laughs> a <laughs> show called Ueno-san wa Bukio, and I read the manga to that a while ago, and it was really funny. I'm surprised it got an anime though. I didn't even. It's got a really bad score, La. The it's got a really bad score. Uh, Six point eighty. Is yeah, the I saw that. The anime. But that doesn't really matter to me. Hey, Minaria friends got a uh, six point seven. And it was fucking lesbian dragon girls, and <laughs> <laughs> it was great. Minaria friends was. Uh, yeah, I mean, that, that, that I'm was talking really to... horrible, not gonna lie. It was, right, it was here, right here, has given a uh, uh, given it a two. So. Yeah, it must be really awful if he's if you're giving it a two. Wait, which one? Mm. Wait, which one are you talking? Wait, which one are you talking about? Are you friends? Yeah, it's the one with the, the, uh, the how, dragon girl. How clumsy are you? How clumsy you are, Miss? You know, yeah. What the, that what, one. What the? Which one? I usually don't even like uh, shows with like a female protagonist like this, but it's pretty funny and I enjoyed it. I've seen. I've seen the. Wait! Oh wait! 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 The one with the the one with the. The girl who was like the six eighty, the one the Ueno San, the. I um, remember watching the first episode, and the first half was about a girl drink, like the main girl getting the other guy to drink her piss. I was I like, I don't remember that. This is where I just, this is where I just flip. This is where I just flip. I'm just like, what kind of gag are we just being put through right here? Uh, I mean, where... it's, I mean, it's kind of funny, but I think the MC is. Is too dense for my liking, so I just stopped I, at the, that first the, episode. The girl, the girl was the, the main puppet. character. She's she's the inventor, and she's trying no, to no, like... like no, her 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 love interest. Like yeah, but I think that's part of the joke. Like it's it's just pure gag, like just pure know, jokes. But like, <laughs> yeah, the thing is, like I, it was Usually I don't point, fuck with it was to the like, point male where MCs it just with... it just got so redu- it just got so redundant. And it's just like a gag after another that just never really like that for me, like it was supposed to be funny, but it doesn't really hit me as funny. It's just, I mean, humor it's just something that makes you just shake your head and just like, what, in, what kind of mindset is she having? How did you feel about Aho Girl then? Oh, Aho Girl? Okay. I love well, it's kind of, well, it's kind of, it is, it is stupid as well, but it's actually a little bit more entertaining because you get to see the guy 
do Thought Patrol sort of shit. <laughs> that was my favorite <laughs> anime of the season. Big on Thought. Yeah, literally. I, I, I enjoyed that almost more than anything else that season. I don't really even remember. Well, I mean, for the, for the gags it did, yeah. I mean, from, a, from, a, from everything else, if, like, that uh, show, I mean, depending on if it, like, uh, it depends on, like, the comedy. Like, comedy is usually translates to enjoyment value, but sometimes it can, you know, go into the, the value of the story. Like, is it, did it do its job in, in terms of that? And uh, some do it, some do it, some story comedy shows do it well, some do not. 12 hey, minutes per episode, huh? Content. Shoot, I might react to that. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Aho Girl was against Made in Abyss, Kakeguri, Suri Zuri Children, Gamers, and yeah. That's yeah. Right. Yeah, oh, they had, there was a lot of yeah, good stuff that season. Right. And hey, Princess right. Principal in there, too. Yeah, I haven't seen that yet. Yeah, I don't summer like that summer 2018 was a beast. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Anyway, well, as you know, you know, yeah. Abyss did not <laughs> okay. do anything for me at the um, end. Gamers was fun, uh, anyway. Um, gamers was amazing. Yeah, gamers. I think Gamers was my top one, and Aho Girl was like my second. Okay, I thought Series uh, was good, but okay, I we're going. Back oh, I on dropped one. that one like on the first episode. Yeah, we're. <laughs> yeah, we're going, <laughs> we're going back in time a little bit. I don't. Uh, <laughs> I don't. Go back, back to when I was here last time. Come on, guys. We need, we need to jump forward back into. Forward in time again to uh, next season. <laughs> well, this well, current season, I should say. Well, uh, last season, did, well, was there anything? I, was gonna, I know a lot of people were talking about. Like, I know a lot of people. Some of you guys were watching Dororo, and that's continuing on. Yeah, I was gonna say um, that. Yeah, oh, that's yeah, continuing. Dororo. Um, Dororo. Uh, okay. All I know, all I know about. Do- all I know about Dora is that it's a remake from the 60s. Yes. So, yeah, that's pretty much all I know about it as well. But I've heard great things. I'm I've gonna go watch it eventually, wa- but I'm gonna watch it on my. Ninjas? Show. Is it about ninjas or something? Samurai. No, uh, well, Samurai, Samurai, like, Samurai, but I rather not, not, not spoil. It, it, yeah, it's one of those going to um, a it does Care take Bear. place in feudal Japan, yeah, with Care Bears, but Samurai, then Samurai, yeah, kind of, okay, um, yeah, it is kind of uh, well, this one's gonna be more directed to Ryu, did because uh, I think we were the only ones who watched it. Was Kake Godoi? Oh, I watched it too. Oh, you did? Oh, that's right, oh. you did. Yeah, I watched uh, both, I watched both seasons of Kake Godoi. Did you, yeah, did you finish it? Right? I haven't, there's more than one season. season. Oh, yeah, there's um, a second season. I've seen season one of Kakegori. Right, right. I haven't seen second season. Second season okay, aired uh, on the I, I didn't seasons. hear it. Uh, did you finish it, Ryu? I didn't. Huh? Did you finish it? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I did finish it, but I stopped reacting to it because yeah. it just got. It just. T- okay. If I if season one if I was reacting when season one was around, I would have been really hyped for it. This what this second season it just feels like everything just exhausts. Everything just seemed exhausted for me. It's just like it just felt like a, a sort of chore. It's just like the same thing over, over, and just like it just kind of just lost the, it just kind of lost the fuel for me. I don't know. Basically. It's like it's the same thing that you're gonna expect. It's like the crazy games with the crazy people and the crazy persons and the craziness. Um, one, but well, one notable thing about season two was that we do get to see more, um, I guess, character development for some characters, yes. like uh, Sumeragi. The one thing, though, that I... I okay, and if it doesn't get a third season, this series is horrible. Because of how it ended. It, it literally a, ends okay. on an open note with no conclusion. But it's... For because of that, two? Yeah, because of that ending, it's almost like saying, like, hey, we're going to get a third season. And apparently it's extremely popular in Japan. So, very likely we're going to get it. But I was just saying, I, I'm fine with how it ended because it's setting up for a third season. I'm just hoping we get that third season because if we don't, it ended horribly. Because I'm like, just disappointed that one girl stopped being a tomboy. Yeah. Oh, I've yet to watch yeah. that. I've yet to watch it at some point. I'm still going to call her best girl right was... now. <laughs> but yeah. Well, I was paying attention to the list again and I, I, I was brought back by the word tomboy. So what's going on? Uh, uh, there, is a best, <laughs> there is a best girl in that series. I'm not going to say who it is, but she's a tomboy. In, in what in, series? In Kakegurui. 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 Oh, oh, man. I know. I know I you want to watch that. I don't want to watch the that. Moment, the moment she let her hair down and pulled out those gloves, I was like, Whoa! And you know what? From the first moment I saw her, I'm like, that's a girl. That's a girl. I'm calling it. It's a girl. And then I was like, no, nah, it's not. She just, it's just voiced by a girl. April Fool's, bitches. Because <laughs> yeah. I called it. But yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, I know we were the only ones. I, I, I do hope we get a third season. Um, 
But let's see. Goatsuba no Haniyome, Nino's best girl. I, let's move on. And um... I wonder what people are doing. <laughs> no, 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 There we go. No, 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 Miku is okay. Miku is Nike. Miku is best girl. Fight me. Fight me, bitch, I Roman. Will, I will. Woo! Look at Cart Knight. <laughs> Cart Knight, I got him. He read the manga, and even he was like, holy shit, I can see why Nino is best girl. Because he read the manga. Everyone who picks Nino as best girl is people who have read the manga. People who have not read the manga, and like I even said, if you've only seen the anime, yes, Miku is best girl. But if I, you are I'm... a cultured man and have read the manga, <laughs> you are going to jump. You are no longer going to be a devotee of the Church of Miku, and you are going to become a hoodlum and join the ga- Nino gang. That what is about it. me though? Um, you, I did you... read the manga, and I think none of them is best girl. I mean, it's because they have boobs. That's the only reason. Oh. Why. <laughs> we actually had this conversation. But he was like, "You even said that the um, the character models that are uh, um didn't interest you." Oh, um, yeah, like the. I also didn't read far enough for me to care about anyone. So that <laughs> that's probably <laughs> that's probably a big no, thing. I just like. The old, okay, so the series overall was fine, but the the car- But when you when you just look at it from frame to frame, it's clear that the but the budget in terms of the uh, the animation quality was quite uh, lacking in some places. Like some characters, yeah. like feel like uh, there's there's their their faces were just kind of just slapped and paid slapped and paid, uh, pasted on. I, like, well, in, I mean, honestly, from that kind of show, I'm not too surprised at that because that kind of show is not meant to have a high budget quality or anything like that. It's, uh, so, yeah, it's actually a rom-com. It's, pretty, it's a comedy rom-com. You can't expect a massive budget for something like this. Yeah, I that's... Mean, unless yeah. if it's... Unless if it's Kaguya-sama. Kaguya-sama is on, its own, is on a level that is... Un- okay, it's God tier, so... Yeah. I, I'll and, and honestly, from judging from that crew they're not they don't have actually they have a lot of stuff but they're like they have like all of their wait 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 the same production company is also partners with the same production company for Dororo Roro Oh which one yes. Go to Bano Haniyome is Tezuka Productions and it, they're in a joint production with Studio Mappa for Dororo Roro Yeah well Yeah, yeah that's interesting oh, well, I did not expect that, that. Yeah that's interesting Oh they also did um Degashi Kashi, but that's like one of the few ones they yeah. actually did. The second season. Which, oh, the second season. Second uh, season which funny, I, enough, yeah. funny enough, Texaco Productions, Dororo is the most popular one right now that I'm seeing. But I think uh, it's sec- mostly Studio no Mappa. Surprise. It's it's mostly Studio Mappa because I've seen the animation style. That's definitely Mappa. Well, but they've yeah. also, oh, yeah, they've done true. joint operations. They also did Kits on the Slope or Sakamichi wow. Mappa one. Two productions are pretty much more famous for like older anime from like the eighties and the early two yeah, thousands, so from what I, I see like, here. Yeah, honestly, when when it's just them, their quality isn't super high. But I mean, looking at from what looking at their um, looking at their track record, they don't have that much. So I don't, I'm not like. Most of that stuff is just like Astro Boy. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> so yeah, they're they've been around wow. for a while, but they're they also don't do like super super high quality. The only time they do is when they're partnered up with another production company like Studio right. Mappa. But so I'm I, not gonna I'm not gonna really like sh- like rom coms. I'm not expecting super high quality. Like at yeah. least with Nisei Koi, it was because it was like the reason why it looked cool in parts was because of Studio Shaft, and Studio Shaft has their own unique uh, spin on things. With the head tilts. And for some reason, you yeah. still have not watched the Monogatari series. I know. I need to watch the Monogatari series. I know. And that, I mean, the, the only thing I know, there's, the only there's thing no better reaction. About oh, maybe when it comes series. to dogs. Yeah, the only reason. You need to react to that. You need to react to the Monogatari series. The only thing I know about you Monogatari just, series you, you is just, that Senka Kohara has crabs. That's wait, all I know. Oh, wait. You have not wait. You have not watched the Monogatari series. No, what? I have not. I've seen the very first episode, and I think he's waiting for the dub. No, naturally. He's, I, 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 I know. He's not going to be a top no, one. I know two things. There's no way you didn't. 
right. I know two things about the Monogatari series. Senju Kohara has crabs. I don't know what that means. I just know that that's a thing. <laughs> and the toothbrush scene. <laughs> what? Oh, yeah. The, one of the that. things that I look forward to people oh, reacting oh, also, to the most. Also, Hachikuchi is apparently best, best girl. <laughs> No, I disagree uh, with that. Uh, <laughs> no, 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 no. After your eye open up. He wants to marry her. He's like, I'm date. I'm Who? like, hold on. He was like, um, um, Araragi, Araragi was like, I'm dating Senshi Kahara. I'm in love with someone else, but I would, if I, I would marry you. Something like that. Oh, that scene. That was pretty funny. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then, he, yeah. All, the only All reason right. why I know that is because of the Araragi son. Uh, so, oh wow! Yeah, but you're missing out on a lot. You really need to get to that at some point. Yeah, I, I agree with I'm Laura completely here. blind to the series. I'm Laura, Laura, Laura you've seen, have you seen Laura, Laura? Have you seen the the Zoku one? Because I'm still waiting. For, I was still waiting for the six episode. The six episodes because apparently no, it was a that's new, not yeah, it was all six episodes. They're all out now. now. Oh yeah, yeah, they're all out now. I do I'm really gonna, want to download. Yeah, I'm gonna download. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna hopefully get. I've already downloaded them. I'm going to. I'm going to react to it in the next couple of days. I think. I'm going to react to. The, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm going to be the first one. I'm going to be the first one to react to the let the last, well maybe latest, um, Monogatari uh, series. Fuck I'm, going to be the I'm just going to react to it and have no idea one. what's going on just to piss you off. <laughs> oh, no. Hi, I'm jumping into the Godfrey series at this one on episode six. I don't know what's going on, but yeah, fuck it, uh, fuck it, <laughs> fuck, fuck Smiley. Oh, you're just gonna watch them all out of order. I know, right? I'm just gonna start off with uh, Kizu Monogatari. Just <laughs> and he's gonna go to like Monogatari second if, season, do... then Hana Monogatari. Yeah, if I actually do the, wor the worst thing you could possibly do is watch it uh, like order. blind in chronological order. <laughs> Oh no! I feel like I no, I did no, no, no. I actually watched it in chronological order. I actually. Oh, it's kind of oh my god, the madman! It's kind, it's kind of impossible because there's parts inside of seasons that are also yeah, but like, chronological order is way too complicated. You would also have to like sometimes stop watching an episode and then go back to another part and then wa finish watching the episode some other time. Yeah, I'm gonna watch oh. it in release order. Like how it's meant. Yeah, to that's, the that. best. that's the better. Stop it, stop it back, man. Yeah, that's very same thing. Like when I when I watch <clears> um <throat> when I eventually watch uh, the melancholy of Haruhi Suzumiya, I need to watch it in release order, not chronological order, because it's all over the place. Oh, <laughs> good but, luck with Haruhi and the endless no endless eight. Gonna, I know about the endless that. eight. I know about the endless eight. That's, oh, God. That was torture. That was torture. <laughs> I I, 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 I I legit I the like when I was I was watching this that 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 part right and I'm just and I just wanted to there was a what? point where I just wanted to die stab my eyes out because it was it's just like, yeah, a I waste want, I, mean, it I was want a waste of animation like, a waste like, of time and energy to accomplish what frustration it's yeah, like give me it's just like give me give me three four hours of my life back please. Yeah, like, I mean, I want to watch full on breakdown. I want to watch. Eight, like, I want to watch Haru season Mia, but like the endless A arc is like the one that's make me like. You can actually question it, you can really... act, like there are videos where you can actually skip it and just watch a, a like an actual breakdown of it, and it explains everything. The manga did it so much better. Well, yeah, I mean, the, the, the anime can only do so much in terms of that. Well, I mean, like the manga didn't repeat anything; it just covered a different activity each like repeat. Yeah. Oh, God's sake. Right. Why, that that would have been right, way better. You, yeah, the, the anime producers just really decided... To, I was like, hey, we're going to we're gonna torture the viewers just by putting this over for a couple of... of the anime did every every activity every time instead oh. of just covering one activity completely each time. That's right. the... the uh, uh, fuck whoever did, who made that <laughs> <episode>. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, I think that actually wraps up winter 2019. Yeah, pretty um, much. Pretty much. Yeah, we'll just before that, before that okay. I do want to mention, like, it kind of has... It's it's a season before, but I wasn't really here last time. Yeah. Uh, the the topic about the Endless 8 was kind of brought back to me again. Like, in a, it, it kind of had, like, <laughs> flashbacks to it when I was watching Bunny Senpai. Mm -hmm. uh, because oh, of a certain oh, wait. Arc. Uh, I need wait, to watch wait, Bunny arc? Senpai, but unfortunately... You haven't watched it yet? Boy! My very first episode got yeah. copyright claim um, striked. Like, the very first oh, time oh, I watched it, and oh, that's yeah, why I stopped. That's why I remember that. I, remember uh, that. I actually got a strike. Yeah, I just wanted to say that. Since, yeah. since Ramen hasn't seen it, I'm not going to go anywhere into that. But, yeah, I had a flashback to Endless Eight while right, I was watching um, that. 
can I can I host the, can I host the the part with the spring 2019 because go I got it pulled up and uh, let's go by popularity if we if it's okay with you guys. That's fine. Oh gosh. Okay. Yeah. Are you starting with so One Punch Man? Yep. Season two. One Punch Man. Okay. Second season. I know so... this is going to be a very hot topic oh, too. Yeah. So I guess we're talking. Hey, about this is going to be interesting. We're talking uh, about. Right. Right. Before we begin, part. before we begin, I just want to quickly say, let's not bring up. The animation, all right. Yeah, that's gonna be because... the. That's the reason why that's the. It's yeah, that's the why it's so hot. Uh, the topic. Yeah. See, okay. okay here's, here's the thing. What... Before. <laughs> to me. Okay, sorry. I'm somebody who's read the manga already. To me, the animation doesn't actually even matter because exactly. what's coming is it's gonna be story. really, right. really awesome, regardless of how well it's animated. Ex- see, yeah, I've always been. Ones... Yeah, I've exactly. Always been, I've, I've always been part of the. Uh, 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 the camp of fuck the animation unless it's like absolutely horrible like horrible like almost like uh, handshake trigger. is horrible we don't talk Why about handshake horrible the reflection horrible yeah but no no um like yes the animation style is different it is a brand new studio i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt I will judge them based on the story and the characters, how it should be. The characters be. are so For good, example, <laughs> and the things that happen are yeah, so interesting. If you think that the animation is bad, remember how One Punch Man started. It looked like they, he was having a seizure while he wrote it, while he drew it. Also, mm, yep. also that's also very yeah, good. All, animation style also doesn't really matter. If you look at Konosuba, granted it is a comedy, so I know someone's going to say that, but Konosuba, when they went to season two, the animation actually kind of worsened. Like looking back at it, season two animation of Konosuba kind of sucked. But the thing is, for a lot of people, One Punch Man, like a big aspect of it, since they've only seen the anime, is the animation because it was so well by Madhouse. Exactly, and they didn't get over the bar. They did set a bar. Madhouse did set a bar. Yeah, yeah, they really did. I mean, there's there's nothing really surpassing that amount of quality from the from season one. There's no way. There is no way that. Oh, if you think like in terms of like ha- like I think if JC staff were to pull like all their for- uh, resources and put them in, I've heard like the the B- um, Boros fight is nothing compared to what season two is gonna have. Like they're like also um, as long as Tatsumaki is really well drawn and everything's fine. <laughs> oh, <laughs> of course. Hey, oh, she's, yeah, she's, she's hot well, and she's legal. It's okay. Okay, here's what I'll there say is. about one. Okay, so what I want to say about one point, like. I mean, yeah, I kind of, like, it's similar to what you guys brought up. Like, I don't expect the animation to be, like, as good or better than, Madhouse. like, um, season one. Like, I, I just want One Punch Man season two to be good. Yes. Like, that's that's yeah, really all, that's really what I, what I want. I'm, for, I'm just going to go into at the story. Like, like I'm just staff, interested in the story. Yeah. And as for um, JC stuff, like, it, yeah, the animation isn't as good as season one. But, like, that doesn't mean, like, they can't do, like... In some scenes, in, in like an in index, like um, like yeah, an in index, like they they prove that they can do fight scenes pretty well. And plus, like it's not like it's def it's definitely not like Berserk twenty sixteen level like well, animation. And just quality. remember yeah. that JC okay. Star okay, also okay, did. Um, sorry, JC Star also did Food Wars. So I think mm. that we are in safe hands because Food Wars is actually still really good. Oh, well, All things considered, oh, yeah. like they did, they did the entirety of Food Wars. Yeah, Food Wars is right? pretty clean as well. Um. Okay. So I was I was about to say. Okay. So there were. So yeah, I can get. I've heard about the stuff regarding um, uh, JC Stab. Like from a financial standpoint, it was the decision was understandable. It's still not a good enough excuse, but you know, I mean. I'm not gonna say the season will be bad. It's just that it cannot live up to what the season season one did. Sure, yes, I get that. But the thing the thing um, that really annoys me is that people are already going, "No, this is gonna be crap. It's gonna be bad. The animation sucks. The story's gonna be terrible. I'm not going to even bother watching it because I'm just making my own my own opinion right now yeah, before that even seeing the really first big, episode." Yeah, that actually is a really and, big, and big, and big that's community. What, that's what's pissing me off. That's why I'm just, I'm going to, I'm just going to put out a message there. If you're listening to this podcast and thinking those thoughts, just watch the episode and don't. And if you still hate it after that, fine. But yeah, just give it a try. Well, they're gonna watch it anyway. Oh yes, yeah. yeah. Yeah, same here. I mean, because oh, I'm gonna I, watch it. Oh, yeah. Season two was a favorite, and to and to try, and then I have to at least 
go go all the way with the with the second season because when I think about it, I mean, yeah, it, the, my big the thing is the disappointment came because like I'm not going to be able to expect that wonderful sort of quality from from season one that I that I was hoping that would be in second in second season, but unfortunately, nope. We just don't really get. We're not gonna get it, and hopefully the story will hold up. I mean, I have heard about. I mean, like you've mentioned, like the story. The story is actually gonna be really, really, really good. And uh, one thing I do want to point out, like they were talking about, you know, Genesis. Uh, you know, some of the designs look like they're they're three D. Don't though. That's not three D. I've seen actual three D. I've seen. Yeah, I've seen actual three D. Bad or worse. That's just the sort. That's just the sort of you know, uh, sort of quality that just makes it look like it makes it look like it's more metal, metallic in in one way or another, which is kind of nice to be honest. I didn't like. There's not like if it if it was three D, it would be really really obvious. But it, but it is not. Oh, this reminds me of Zombieland Saga. <laughs> oh God! I, oh, that's that 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 was hard to watch. I I, I actually <laughs> dropped it. I need to watch. Se- oh no, the, the show itself was amazing, but the, yeah, the animation itself was amazing. horrible. The animation was uh... horrible. I know. <laughs> I'm, 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 and I'm putting that kind of like that, that was horrible animation. But anyway, okay, that actually so, made me cry quite a bit. I don't know <laughs> if any, I don't know if anyone's has followed up uh, Shigeki no Kyojin nope. season three. But nope, Shigeki I have. Three, part... I, need, I need to react to that. Shigeki no season three part two. Okay. Uh, how part one left off, the way it just kind of left off, and just like that after credit scene right, was wild. Uh, I don't know what you're talking about, and I do want to react to it. I see with only ten episodes, and I'm just like, it's gonna be pretty lit, but there's gonna be a lot of condensed uh, content for sure because only ten, only ten uh, episodes, and you're just wondering like, how they're gonna, how are they gonna really do that, and is it going to be like considering the feedback from this? From just this part of the season, like, are they gonna have enough for season four? Because I, I'm, I'm pretty sure they're still gonna continue the story after this one for sure. I mean, last it, one it, I saw was season two, and I wasn't too big of a fan of that one. So which which anime is this? Uh, Attack, Attack on, on Titan. Titan right now. Attack on oh, Titan. I've got, I've got words about Attack on Titan. Oh. Yes, oh yeah, Seriously. I know you do. Please, uh, you're gonna go into a rant. And Seriously, keep going. Oh, Seriously. Boy. I, I feel for those who only do, you know, uh, anime only. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm so so sorry because congratulations. This is going to be the last good arc. Please stop. After this, it's so wait, 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 wait. <laughs> for season three, part two. <laughs> yeah, the, welcome to the last best arc of the of the entire thing. After this, only... it is it, it goes downhill. It goes comp- the the what's the name of the author again? Uh, uh, the, uh, the author, the author. What the, happened? He, yeah, Hajima Ishima. He's just gone completely insane. He's pretty much gone. I'm just going to throw every single idea I have onto the paper, and nobody is stopping him at all. Like all his editors, like, all his editors. All these editors are going, yep, do whatever you like. And now and I'm just looking at it going, this is falling apart. Like, so you're score, saying that's what you should expect from a uh, season? Don't want to spoil anything for you, but no, no. This Attack on, sorry, Attack on, I want to make it clear. Attack on Titan Season 3 Part 2 is going to be amazing. Oh, it's okay. going to be really, really good. And it's what comes after that. Is going to be horrible, and I'll be amazed oh, if okay. the next if the arc after this is adapted into an anime. See, the reason I'm not really a fan of hearing you talk about this is because you're kind of setting expectations, and to me, that's kind of no, a similar I'm, thing to a spoiler. I know, oh, the thing, I know, okay. but I, I'm not going to say what's going to happen because I'm going to leave it to you guys. But seriously, this is the last good arc. Um, if if I can put a word in it, um, I'm gonna be one of those where I don't buy too much into the attack. I'm not like a huge like fan. Like I don't buy into the hype of Attack on Titan, but I find the premises really interesting because of like it's yeah, the premise is great. The premise is a great idea, but yeah, and uh, I can just say right now that uh, 
based on the to be honest like i like the how part one was kind of focused a little bit more on the character development but compared to the but it does i don't really think um it just does it just doesn't feel like uh they've really uncovered they still haven't found the fu- uh like aaron's fucking like father's fucking closet for for mm-hmm. fuck's sakes they still haven't discovered that yet. um that yeah that's because that's this season that's what happens now okay so uh, i'm gonna get yeah. the real thing right here all right the another thing is like considering because you know uh smiley kind of just touched upon it could this be it could this could be could this be the last the last adaptation we'll see from attack on titan I was, i'm sorry to say but i think it will be because i cannot see them adapting what comes next at all because it's and again for those who well it also the, depends like how popular it is I, among japanese i know people. i know but I, I i will say right now i could be wrong but this after all this is just my opinion but i absolutely like before i got to this last arc because they're up to the last arc right now like the manga is is finishing this is this is the it this is it this is the end this is the final thing mm-hmm. and it's just oh i used to love this this I, like i i i get when i first read attack on titan i was like i was giving it the score like nine ten all that i'm now giving it a fucking six because the story is just so bad. Ugh, I'm just so disappointed. That's that's huh. the thing. I'm I'm not Six. I don't want to be ang- I'm not I'm not angry at it. I'm just really really disappointed at what is going on. That sounds like, better than what I think about Evangelion. Oh god. I mean, oh man. <laughs> <I don't know laughs> wait, wait, wait you didn't like this. wait, Laura, are you you didn't like Evangelion either? Like no, like no, I absolutely Evangelion. hate that. With a passion. It's like one of my least favorite things ever. Oh, okay. We're brothers in arms then. I, I, I'm actually going to watch it once it comes out on Netflix because they're redubbing it. Yeah, they're redubbing it. They're actually redubbing it. The entire thing is being redubbed. Okay. Huh. Um, so I'm guessing that will do it for Attack on Titan. So yeah. let's get to the one that a lot of people are talking about. Okay. Demon I Slayer, talk about this. Kimetsu I no actually Yaiba. talk about this one because a lot of people did not like my reaction. And I'm, I, I can't tell if it's because... Like, they didn't like the reaction or the fact that I w- did the whole, I had to cover the video and all that jazz. But. Yeah. I, I mean, yeah, it, it happened. Happened. I'm pretty it happened, sure bro. it's the cover Demon of the video. Slayer. Demon Slayer. I'm confused as to what the topic is right now. It happens to a lot of us react. Yeah. So, it's weird. Like, the first episode, I'm not going to spoil it because I know Lar hasn't seen it. I don't know if Lar is going to see it. Um, You're talking about. We're talking about Demon Slayer. Oh, yeah. It's from this current season. Yeah, Demon, Demon Slayer. Slayer. Yeah. I never heard of that one. Yeah. It's, uh, the Japanese name is like, uh, Kimetsu, Kimetsu no, no Yaiba. Yeah. Okay, so, um, it's, the first episode was good. It didn't, it didn't blow me away. It was a good first episode. Yeah, it did. But it wasn't like, it, oh my god, this is like, it, okay, so, like, I know, like, a lot of people, like, because I compared it to Goblin Slayer in terms of, like, brutality. It wasn't that. Uh, it's, it's, I think that's, that, that's kind of that. Like, yeah, uh, one, one at a time, guys. Let's, have... let's let Ramen make his point. Yeah, because um, Go- Goblin Slayer was... It, Goblin Slayer hooked me on the first episode. It, it didn't get. It didn't hook me the same way. Like, it was a good episode. I want to know what happens more, but I wasn't like, oh, shit. I want to know what happens next. For example, when the scene happens with his family, I'm not going to spoil it, I wanted more. I wanted it, it just kind of said like it was like kind of swept off the rug. I wanted more like in depth. I wanted more craziness, I guess you could say. But I, I, it it didn't feel like it it did. And I wish they did. I don't know like I don't know how it do, did it in the manga. It probably did the exact same way. I don't know. I I'm I'm completely blind to the series. But I just kind of wish like I, I they I felt like they could have made it more impactful but they didn't and that's the only problem mm. and i'm waiting I, i'm hoping it does more um I, I i do i actually am very curious on seeing where this show is going to go and the judging by the um animation style it is by ufotable or ufo table and ufo table or ufotable are fine ufo table are ufo table oh yeah <laughs> they're, they're very well <laughs> i like i love their style of animation 
And like during like some of the scenes, like yeah. when he's like running like through the snow, that is fantastic animation because it's not CG. And I was looking at it like I rewatched that some of those scenes, and it's not CG. It's just very cleanly yeah, that's animated. A, that's affordable for you. Yeah, and like they're known um, to be very good. And like I was watching uh, in the opening, fantastic. That's a great animation. Uh, um, so I'm looking forward to this. It just it didn't wow me right off the bat. And what's also weird. We don't know how many episodes there is, uh, according to my anime list. It's still scheduled as yeah, a question. It's unknown. it's unknown. And that's where I'm, like, scratching my head a little bit. I want to know where this is going to go. I'm curious. It didn't hook me like it did, like Goblin Slayer did, but I'm still, I'm compl- I'm like, I still want to see what happens. So that's the only, like, my draw on it. Smile, your turn, man. Yeah, yeah, it's not, oh, oh, yeah, never mind. Smile, you want to go, man? Uh, about this one, the Demon Slayer one. Yeah, yeah. I'm not watching it. Oh, I'm not wow. watching it. Damn. So quiet then. <sighs> so we. Oh yeah. Well, I mean, yeah. I was, I was just gonna say like, um. Uh, yeah. It's not, it's not bad. Like, like it's not amazing, but like, it's not bad either. So it's, it's, it's. It's the first it's episode. Fine. I'm not gonna like. I'm yeah. not gonna super judge it. Yeah, I'm gonna get. I'm, I'm probably gonna I give it like five episodes. I'm gonna probably give it five episodes from this one because I feel like three is still not enough. The thing is, I was speaking to someone else about this, and it seems like a lot of people from for this season have jumped the gun a bit because they're already giving like anything like a seven or an eight, and it's like, guys, settle down. It's only the first episode. Yeah. Things are going to change. Please. I don't know. There's one that I just read here that says it's about a middle school teacher oh, who no. has a 14 year old oh. wife or something. So yes. that, that I, I'm, I'm sure that's no, not no, no, no. very let's good. <laughs> let's get let's no no let's we'll let's save that for later. Let's second. save that for later. Save that for later. Wait, wait, oh, that's actually going to be a topic. We'll <laughs> save that for later. So, yeah. Yes. We'll talk about it for a brief second because I saw. It. Okay. So let me. Uh, okay. So well, I try not to spoil. Right. The the first episode. Right. Um. If I don't want to have like make anyone mad, like the way it was set up, I mean, okay, animation is really animation is really nice. Mm-hmm. Soundtrack is nice. Yes, the, the I, premises I is really soundtrack nice was setup. fantastic. Now the soundtrack thing is, was on point. the setup is the setup itself is so, is solid by itself. But for me, it it was just like I could I saw that coming from a mile away. Oh yeah, like millions of miles away. The way it was set up. The the way the the way the tragic moment was set up, for him to get involved with the whole with the whole with the whole uh, plot in it with the whole plot and everything you know and also regarding his sister I, I saw this from a mile away like even without that those first scenes, it, it was set up right there, like if you okay so if you're gonna be put in an extremely happy like sort of easygoing looking uh, atmosphere to start off the the show to start off the episode like that it just like this is some some bad's gonna happen. Some bad's gonna. Some well, bad's I think I, I I don't think and, they were trying to hide that fact that it was gonna be yeah. obvious. I don't. It didn't seem like they were trying to hide it. Like they, it wasn't. It didn't feel like a surprise to me. I just like I knew it was coming, and I felt like that was the point. Like it was it was trying to say, hey, by the way, something like it, it, this isn't all peaches and cream. And I felt like like I'm so I'm not gonna dock them on that. I just. I wish the execution was a little bit more impactful. That's the only thing I, yeah. I wanted. Yeah. Like, yeah, I, was, I knew it was coming, and it was obvious. Like, I don't think they were trying to, su- like, hey, surprise. Uh, no, because, one, it happened very early in the show. I think it only happened, like, that first, like, what, six, seven minutes, if that. So it wasn't trying to build up as a surprise. It, it, it knew it will, we knew what was going to happen. So I'm not going to dock it on that. I think it yeah. was, if the execution was done a little bit better, I would have liked that a lot more. But like yeah, I said, I'm, first episode, I want. I, I feel like that's not even going to be part of the main topic. Like it's like, oh yeah, this happened, so we're going to happen to this. This is I, like, yeah. I've heard like a lot of people. I've heard like one of my one of the guys in my comments saying this is going to have one of the best shonen battles you'll ever you'll ever see, and then like the kind of animation. Like you, did you, does anyone see like in like you saw in the OP visuals the way they were showing that? Oh yeah, the visuals the, that, on the that, opening are that fantastic. Shit was amazing. That with the color, with the, with even the if I started watching whatever you're talking about, I I wouldn't know what you're talking about because I usually skip openings. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh yeah, this one Bro, I would actually uh, like you this. Su- you, oh, uh, no, this no. opening is like uh, visually. Hey, I have a good only, reason. Okay. I have a you, good reason. Yeah, because okay. I mean, I, I like to be completely blind going into a show, and openings usually spoil things like character intros and events and all that. So I usually hold those off until it's near the end, and I still watch them. 
but you know, yeah. late. The old, okay. Okay. For slime, not for obvious okay. reasons. I'm, I'm gonna I'm gonna admit on my part, it's like I only skip uh, openings and endings when it's they're not memorable and something that I binge watch like a long ass freaking show. Yeah, that's, only, that's the only, that's really the only times where I skip. I don't skip stuff like the Death March op- the opening though. That was fucking catchy as hell. Oh, oh, oh. I have a question, Lord. Did you skip? Uh, we never we never learned because we've seen it. No, I do want to react to that, but I just haven't gotten around to it. <gasps> okay, uh, we'll talk about that later. Okay, we'll about next, that later. On the, next on the plate. Isekai. Okay, so... Okay, who's going to watch it? Because we haven't seen it yet. So who's going to watch wait, it? Wait, wait, wait. What are you talking Isekai about? Isekai Quartet. Isekai Quartet. I can't... I want to watch it, but I can't yet because I need to watch... Um, Yojo, Seikai, uh, Sankai, and... Um, the other one, uh, Overlord. I haven't seen. I wait, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I don't. It's the fourth I'm one. Not so sure Say it again. What were we talking I'm about? Sure Isekai, Isekai, Isekai Quartet. Yeah. Oh, Isekai. Oh, okay. I'll watch I'm, it. I I'm feel like gonna... I don't need to know enough. If it's a lighthearted take, I feel like we're not going to need too much information on it. In all honesty, probably going to be a lot of references, though. Yeah. Probably. There's probably going to be a lot of references though to those shows, and I don't really. And if they make a joke about that show, I'm just, if I watch. Uh, and not watch crossover. Overlord and better crossover, than any, first, better than... crossover than any Marvel DC thing, am I right? <laughs> okay, here I I do have a confession to make. I would watch Isekai Quartet, but I'm probably not because I haven't finished Re Zero. Oh come on! Man. Well, you, you take your time, man. You you you'll. I'm not sure if I ever will finish Re Zero. You really should. I mean, I okay. Part of me is just say, thinking that this is going to be an Isekai version of. Pop Team Epic. Okay, Pop Team Epic. Yeah. I'm going to say this. I, I, I really if that's the case, then I won't like it. <laughs> no, okay. Lord, Pop Team Epic was just was just the most uh, degenerate thing I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> and I hated it. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I didn't like it either. It's definitely acquired taste. I enjoyed I it. I, 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 okay, it the dub, though. I mentioned it before, like when I watched it, but it wouldn't be that bad if it was five minutes per episode. It would be pretty enjoyable, actually. But the thing no, is, it overstays its wel- welcome like w- by quite a bit. It, it repeats the same jokes over and over with different voice actors, and it's like, why? I know it's like part of the joke, but it's a joke that does not work because it's the same voice act. It's a different voice actors doing the same joke. Hey, you should. It's a similar problem to uh, <laughs> to what it's we like, talked about like, earlier with Haruhi like, Suzumiya yeah. and. You know, it's the endless say. episode again. No, no, endless uh, twelve. You should watch it. Yeah, you should watch the uh, in dub because the dub form is better. Because um, I I think the uh, blonde haired girl is voiced by the same guy who does Vegeta. Vegeta's voice in Dragon Ball Z, and it is the greatest oh. thing ever. <laughs> well, okay, it, it basically, like each episode is like really is is twenty four minutes, but it's really supposed to be only twelve minutes. It's, it's, it's only like, twelve oh, minutes. You haven't had about. enough of these twelve minutes. Let's rerun this again, except with different voice actors. Yeah, the second half is just bonus. Well, I'm just like, I'm just like, not, I'm cutting this. I'm just gonna go. I'm just gonna only watch the twelve episodes. I mean, like the twelve minutes for each episode. Yeah, basically. Like, yeah, okay. You mentioned Ramen that the voice actor makes it better, but uh, <laughs> if even if it was in dub, like once the the joke that it, oh, it's this voice actor and he's not, he doesn't sound like a girl. <laughs> that really doesn't stay funny and plus yeah. some of the jokes don't work too well in the dub so yeah if anyone okay so i i'm guessing that's pretty much it for you second quartet we're just gonna expect expect a lot of references and some memes. yeah i'm not I'm, okay i'm not gonna watch the next one because i tried to watch the original series and it just did not interest me okay i guess, <laughs> I guess i'll i guess i'll talk about it here I I know, you were talking about Fruits Basket? You're talking about Fruits Basket now, the Train 19 version. I'm reacting to that because I never read the manga and I never watched the 2001 version. But from what I've heard, they're planning to adapt the entire manga. Like, it's going, this is going to be season one. Oh, manga style, huh? That's respectable. 24 episodes of season for season one. And then if all goes well, they'll do a second season and maybe even a third season after that. Um, I would maybe. think I think Pretty they're going really to be able to do uh, two, two, four, two full two core seasons. Well, I, I, to be fair, I don't know how long the manga is. Like, I have it at work. I, I've been meaning to read it, but since when I heard that they were going to remake it, like, do a completely other remake of it, I was like, all right, 
I'm not going to watch the original and I'm not going to read the manga until I watch the, the remake. So that's what I'm doing. So it so isn't I didn't really know. like a Monogatari situation where the studio is dedicated to adapting every single little bit of it. Okay. No matter I how gotta, long it is. I gotta put, I gotta put, I gotta say some info uh, regarding this series. Okay. So I've watched the OG, right? I have watched the OG. I'm not so sure what's really diff, what's really completely different except for how some oh. sequence play but let me, no no, no. Let, me, let me tell you what's different is that with the original one that at that time fruits basket was still being made like the manga was still being still being made so that could only go up to a certain point with the original so that's what i'm saying with this one they're going to do the entire thing the entire they're going to adapt everything from mm -hmm. fruits basket so the original only went up to a certain point because the source material ran out. So, yeah, that's why okay. this one's going to be the better version. Okay, so I'm, so this is basically Fruit Basket's Brotherhood. Okay. Um. <laughs> to, to, put it, to put it simply, this is like uh, the uh, Brotherhood version of, of Fruits Baskets, or like the, what's another one that's being like redone that that's the re, the remake is better oh yeah like uh, the helsing ultimate version helsing ultimate it's going to be like, amazing honestly yes yeah, the it, better it, version it, of the original it's a helsing ultimate was 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 really wacky but it was it was hella entertaining not gonna lie um so i'm gonna just give some info uh regarding this so the reason why it took so long for a reboot uh it's not like with the full metal alchemist part it's just like I've actually heard that the creator, like for like, for like maybe like a decade, maybe old, maybe two decades, like he didn't want. Uh, he he was saying, "Get off my stuff! Just like don't don't touch this! I don't want an adaptation of this ever." Because that's because of, he didn't yeah. like the original. That's why he didn't like the original fruits baskets at all. He thought it was adapted really poorly, from what I've understood. So that's why he's that's allowing. Funny. He's allowing this one is, because he, they've said they're going to do it a hundred percent. They're going to make sure it is follow. If they follow the manga like completely. Okay. Okay. So without deviating from the from the source material. And then he like, and then he he actually tweeted out that he actually, I think he said like he actually doesn't like the character designs, and that's really funny because I thought the character designs were pretty clean, honestly. I mean, considering considering everything that's been said and done. For but, the twenty nineteen I mean, version. Yeah, it, it the, if you, anyone has seen the PV or even the the first season, I mean the the first, the, se the first episode, the the designs are clean. They are really clean, like the and like the like the the the, the details that are on point. Like if anyone has seen the OG, the OG's like character designs just don't feel just feel off. Like they, they feel, feel like, they feel they did not age well at all. Yeah, let's, not, let's remember the original came out in two thousand one. So yeah, give it, give it, it, credit. it was old. Yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah so I and also, a, best, a good way to figure out if this one, Fruits Basket Train Nineteen, is doing better is that the mouse score for the Train Nineteen version is eight ten, while the original is seven point seven seven. So yeah, it's already only one episode has aired and it's already doing better well that's i mean those that's also because reviews are also always inflated by the very first episode well yeah that's true but but the thing is i mean i'm guessing i'm, I'm gonna say that uh, the og version doesn't deserve i mean I, personally i don't think that fruit the fruit basket og one doesn't deserve that high uh that high a score but i'm guessing it's because you know the retro fans are just yeah, and the nostalgia probably. Yeah, I do yeah. plan on what. As I said, once I finish the this season, well, once Fritz Basket Train Nineteen finishes airing, I'm going to go and watch the original one just to compare them. Well, good. I'm not going well, to react to the original luck. one. Well, good luck because I didn't particularly enjoy that o that the OG. I I've watched it and uh, I can say for, tell you right now that uh, I didn't I did not enjoy. I, I I can't say I, I didn't hate it. It's just like. I did not. I did not enjoy how that how the story went. It just got me lost at some at some point in time. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Um, so okay, I think so, that's okay. all we can really say for fruits basket. So let's move on. All right. <laughs> because in fact, is anyone, really is anyone follow? Is anyone following Bungo Stray no. Dogs? No, I am. Oh well. No, I'm not. Okay, so quite. Uh, 
I I really liked how I'm really maybe this is kind of biased for me because but considering that this is urban superpower sort of you know sort of sort of settings and like uh, the the first and it's by Studio Bones. The okay the first the first season was sort of a build up so it's not really that much the, but the second season started to touch on some sort of backstory stories and then like it kind of ended off to where the two sides are there's going to be there's obviously like going to end off on you know. Well, you know, foreshadowing for a huge, uh, for a huge, you know, sort of war conflict going on between the, the two sides, considering on and off. So third season is probably is always going to cover that. The, my only concern is like uh, how, like how the characters are going to be uh, util, uh, utilized here. I mean, consider, I mean, it, considering how we've heard of the the backstories regarding that. But uh, what's your concerns uh, going into the third season? Ah. Uh my concern um honestly like i mean i think my only concern is that i really like the second season i thought it was so much better than the the first season in my opinion and i mean i feel like that's and that's also i feel like that's where a lot of people like st- kind of stopped following uh bungle stray because they didn't like the first season which is a shame because the second season was really was really fucking good and uh, think- also I think the reason why they didn't like, uh, why those people might not like it, is because they might not like uh, uh, Atsushi. The I can't pronounce his name. Atsushi. Atsushi. I I think they they just don't really like the guy's character because of how he can, of how he's you know, he's kind of he's kind of like he's kind of like somebody that just doesn't really know how to act. But the thing is, the guy because they don't like it when he keeps flash doing flashbacks. Yeah, the orphan that. flashbacks. Yeah, I think that's I think that's the put off right there, and I can understand that. But uh, I but uh, I've overlooked it. like it's already done a lot of. There's a lot of the like basically for me and a little bit of biasness because it is bones, and I do really like the voice actors. The bo- the positives outweigh the negatives for me quite uh, quite a bit to where I can overlook it and say this is this is one hell of fun series. I mean, yeah, I mean, I understand why they did the whole orphanage flashback because like I think. If I recall correctly, he was kind of like a fish out of water back in season one. Oh, yeah. Plus, he had a really hard life in the orphanage. So, and he was trying to find himself, like, accept, like, where, like, his place in the world, I think. So. Yeah, I, I still think he's, he, he is that fish out of water. I still think he has that sort of, uh, you know, doubts at this point. And yeah. the thing is, will it resurface in, in, in the third season? That's, that's something that I've kind of. I am. I he's he's kind of like a. Besides, uh, Os- Osamu. I mean, we know his gags. I mean, we got his backstory, which is really really nice in that in that second season. I thought that was the backbone that really that really got that second season up up there because they got Osamu's you know sort of backstory going on. Mm-hmm. We also had uh, Ryunosuke's backstory at at the time. Um, I don't know. Okay, so Kyoka is the only you know. It seems to be okay. So okay, she's not the only one, but she's a she's a she's someone another focal point that I am really concerned about is because like the way she was introduced and now that she's part of the group, and then the but there was at one point where she's kind of been drawn been taken away. Like she could be a liability, and it could draw a lot of complications to where I feel like it was unnecessary. Like because she really she's one of those where she has a hard time kind of. She she can be she's kind of like the damsel in distress sort of thing like if if you ask me and that's something that can can bother me depending on how it goes. I mean, yeah. it's not too bad for me to ruin the to ruin the show for me. It's just that it's a nagging problem that I find. Yeah, I always want my the female characters to like have more, like a uh, like to be more self like dependent when it comes to like like, like, Aki, in like Aki like Akiko right. Yeah. Uh. The the girl that was able to you know he yeah she has a oh yeah yeah Yosh yeah 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 Yosh yeah okay yeah yeah I remember I know who you talk about yeah I mean that that was that that was that's a good that's a good uh, that's a well that's a good uh, female character right there even though oh yeah I love her um so yeah there's there's not really much to say about it's just that you just want you're just hoping that the story that the congruity of the story is on point and uh, I think my main concern is that like. Season two would like set my expectations for season three a bit too high. I think yeah, that's that, my only concern. 
I guess that, so yeah, unfortunately there's only two of us here that seen it. I mean, I, I really do wish the other three. I know Memory saw it as well. And I, and I kind of wish we could. Oh, oh yeah. Memory is, I think he is going to react to their, their season. I mean, he's definitely going to watch it. Yeah. Okay. So here's, here's the PA works that a lot of people are talking about. I... Fairy gone. gone. Yeah. Fairy um, gone. It's it is a very good memory one. React to this one? I'm gonna say memory this right now. To I don't know. Uh, I honestly don't know. I think he did. I think I I did. Uh, Sun did. Memory did. I know. And yeah, I'm gonna I say did. this right I now. Did. I'm gonna say this right now. I'm not doing a second. I'm I'm gonna I'm not doing yet. Rec react. Oh, the scrum. The scrum. Wow. Okay. Six point seven seven. Yeah. Yeah. The first, uh, that's okay. Not a good, yeah okay the that early. That's not a good sign. That's not a good sign. I'm just saying. That is definitely not a good sign. I did, looking, I did react to the first I'm looking at the scores. I'm looking at the scores people give. Five, seven, four, six. Damn, that is bad. I gave I mean, it I gave bad. it a, I gave it a six to give it the benefit. I just read out more one six. Like, so yeah. Like, eh, I don't know. I mean it's not bad. It's just like it's it's just very mediocre. I'm like Can I just say not... the lichen looks like Zor from Pokemon? Wait, what? <laughs> the like the lichen the lichen fairy thing, just the, the one that's summoned by that guy called what was this guy? Free under free under Yeah, bar? free terrible free na underbar. terrible naming sense by the way. I yeah I I have no idea where all where they get all these whack ass names like what the villain is supposed to be called Lay Dawn sounds like a lot like Lay Dawn I'm like what the hell Lay Dawn the cover kind of reminds me of Bloodborne I like I was I was saying during my live reaction like I hope that isn't your Christian name the the it was weird the animation style looked very similar to Yojosenki in a way like from the preview from the preview that I saw it looked very similar to Yojosenki. But it's not yeah, Suryuna. Is... It's not Suryuna. It might, might have some animators, but that that was it. That was what piqued my interest, but then I looked more into it, and I was like, yeah, it doesn't look like something I'd be interested in. And, and this is sad, because it, yeah. PA Works is usually doing anime original stuff. They they almost never did anything from a, from a light novel or a mm. manga. They like, I'm trying to original. look through right now, like, probably another... I, I see another... Um, I've seen there, there. That's one. There is a. There is a. I don't know. Uh, there's. There's. I'm. I'm just looking. I'm just looking through it. There's a. There's. I not, not, a, not, not, based on a manga. Not. Not. Not a whole lot, to be honest. Yeah. That's only one I can really just read up. Uh, just, just name off the bat. Get some of the others that I'm not really like. You know, familiar with. But the thing is. PA works like they their their admiral stuff is basically hit or miss. I mean, you either like it or you just hate, or you or you, or you just hate it. And for Fairy God right now, I'm not sure what they're trying to go with it because it's, because the setup here does not feel very engaging, like with uh, Kimetsu no Yaiba, right? The like, Kimetsu no Yaiba is how you like even if it's not the best, that's it does its job in hooking you in. Very gone, however, it does not. I just don't feel anything from the from the main kit from the main. Yeah, main I just character. I really wish the I character really have, like I try to have I try to have some interest in the fairy primordial sort of shit going on. Like she uh, she accident. Ugh. You know what? I might as well. I don't know if I want to spoil this or not, but I, I just want to. But because it, it's just sort of a rant, a bit of a rant. Now that I think about it. That she she automatically gets this power, and all of a sudden she is summoned. The her fairy her her familiar her fairy familiar is summoned without some sort of you know build up to it. It's just like oh summon is right there, and it just stops the fight between her her who was apparently a lo a childhood friend of hers, and then this free underbar guy that later recruits her to the to some sort of secret organization, which is sort of something that you see from uh uh from like uh because. Because uh, from like uh, Violet Evergarden, okay. Because Vi okay with Violet Evergarden, um, Violet is basically kind of taken into the the you know all the memory dolls like to you know try to help rehabilitation for you know sort of her post war sort of activities. This one is kind of where it is also post war, and uh, and apparently Marina, the the protagonist, 
because of that accident, her existence somewhat is what illegal now because she somehow possesses a fairy. If like she doesn't, it's not her fault that the fairy, <laughs> it's not the even her decided. fault. It's a damn fairy's fault. Like uh, what? <laughs> and then it shows the the and then, and then it obviously shows like the primordial is from back then, from when like she and this uh, Veronica girl is the, uh, you know was involved, and there's some sort of revenge and all that. It's just it's just placing stuff all over the place, but it's not placing them in, in a point to where you feel like you you want to be engaged in that sort of plot. It's yeah. just not working. It's just discombobulated. It's like you they they laid out the pieces of the puzzle, but they haven't even they haven't even you know put the puzzle pieces together. This that's the show. That's how the show is right. Now. Yeah, I just that's wish- why it's only getting sick. 6.77. Yeah, it doesn't now, really give us any reason to give a shit about any of the characters or the story or anything like that. Yeah. And and I know mouse scores are not always going as much. I mean, it's it, but the way it already looks from the first episode, that's not a good sign. That's I mean, the, at least the action that. scenes were pretty decent, but other than that, yeah. It, it, I think it, we can jump over the next one, Kenja no Margo, because that hasn't aired yet. Oh, I actually, it so actually aired today. Okay. Oh, that uh, one. I, I actually read some of the web novel on that, and I got quite a bit into it, but uh, I ended up dropping it because a specific thing annoyed me about it. Wait, so one? I'm probably not going to watch that one. Gun Juno Magmill. Oh, I'm not going to watch it. Okay, now I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read the synopsis, guys. I'm going to let you interpret it on this. All right. A young man who has surely died in an accident was reborn in another world as a baby. So they got the reincarnation shit. After that, he was it's picked a cry. up. It's a cry. He, he was picked wait, up wait. by the Patriot hero, Sage Merlin Wolford, and was given a name Shin. He was raised as a grandson by Merlin and soaked up Merlin's teachings, earning him some shocking powers. However, when he became 15, his grandfather Merlin said, I forgot to wait, 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 what are you yeah. talking? Wait, hold on, hold on. We're 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 talking about uh wait, what are we talking about? Kenja no mag so no majo. I, 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 and the synopsis for that one. Genjo no magmel? Genja no mago okay. Hold on. No, 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 no. It's also known as the Magi's grandson or something. Oh, like oh, okay. I'm thinking about a completely different series. Okay, sorry. Continue. Yeah. Um an abnormal boy's unconventional otherworld fantasy life starts here. Now, when it says I forgot to teach him common sense. And I'm just, re- and I'm just like, this is just forcing some really uncomfortable issues. Uh, oh no, that part's great, actually. <laughs> the misunderstandings, I, mean, I-, I like this that. Is, this is just, this. Correct. Is- you were mistaken. Sorry, it doesn't air today. It airs tomorrow. Yeah, yeah. I was mistaken it for a different show. I misheard. Yeah, that was my bad. See, the thing okay, about so- that one, is by common sense, it kind of means like he taught him how to be OP, but he didn't teach him that he was actually OP. <laughs> Well, that's a problem. And, the, and you gotta think. And I, I, I actually have seen the, the teaser for it. And this is just gonna be some just really just just un, just just awkward sort of stuff, like funny or hit or miss. Like it'll it'll depend. But it's just asking for comp. It's, this is the sort of setup that's asking for these hilarious complications. And it, it, it can be hit or miss depending on like how people feel about uh, Isaka. I mean, hit or miss. All, we all know about no! huh? we all know about this. We all know about this Isekai <laughs> stigma, right? And like how people just like they don't they have a they're iffy about it. I don't really care about the stigma itself. It is just mattering of like is does it is the Isekai series as an adaptation doing its job? Is it making its purpose? Is it it is it is the purpose of it uh, it, it like something something clear? Is it something you should give a shit about? And uh, everything else kind of just sets itself from there. For me, the purpose couldn't matter less. What matters the most is if I'm actually enjoying it or not. Exactly. <laughs> well, that's a good thing, though. Hmm. All so right. I, well, blame you. I will say though that the one that's going to come out, Kenja no Mago, I think it's going to be very enjoyable. And I, I did enjoy most of it. It's just one specific thing that bothered me that never really stopped bothering me. Just kind of made me lose interest. So I do think it's going to be a good anime if, if it's done well. Okay. So it's it's okay. definitely not going to be a bad thing. Uh, and so, a lot of people are going to enjoy should, it. Should, so should we call, okay, bring up uh, the new waifu wars of the season? We never learn. In other words, we never learn. Oh, I'm so excited about that one. <laughs> 
<laughs> okay, hold on, just... hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I need to have a quick little moment because if what? you're a manga reader, Sensei's, Sensei's best girl. <laughs> <laughs> no. Hey, hey okay, the community I... has like the community like has ranked from like top like number one is Sensei. And we're not gonna get we're not gonna get to why in this season. I know, I know we're not because it's only recently that we got. Her. <laughs> oh, yeah, you have, you have, you've only yeah, seen it for like uh, a brief second yeah. in the actual show. Like she, she can't talk Fumino. Nobody can do that. It's impossible. Oh, Fumino! Yeah, I will admit, I, I, Fumino. I, 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 guys, guys, I know this guy sound crazy, but I actually agree with Law this time around. I actually like Fumino. No, no, Fumino is I, great. I, I, but. My favorite that uh, when when she appears is gonna be um the senpai uh, uh, Asumi uh, Asumi what what's her name? She's the second best. She's great. I love her. She's a tease. Um, it, it's the purple hair girl. Um, also, I wonder if the Kaguya reference is gonna appear. I hope in so. this season. I hope that would so. be amazing since Kaguya just just aired. The, yeah, oh, I right. think it's gonna be great. Uh, okay, so I feel like the fan favorite is going to be between Fumino and yeah. um and uh, Takamoto. Reason? I I, I think most people are gonna like Sensei. Sen- I, don't I don't think uh, I don't think Sensei's gonna get a lot of development up until later. I hope I hope she does. But... Mind you, maybe. Mind you, on Mal currently we don't. It still has a question mark of how many episodes exactly. this is going to be. Yeah, we don't know. I, I think the it's only gonna be twelve. I don't know. Who... I think it's gonna be twelve. Yeah. I don't really I don't really have a favorite. I'm just watching for the gags at this point. Because uh, this it's, feels like it's it's gonna be gaggy, but it's not gonna be like super like laugh out loud. It's me. it's very funny, but the characters themselves have a lot of moments, a lot to them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And but... also, I, I we do argue about who's best girl in this, but honestly, every single one of them is amazing. They're so good. Like yeah. we even met. I even I like I even said during my reaction, I was like, I don't. If you pick a certain girl that I'm not, that I don't pick as best girl, I don't blame you because they're all great. Rizu is great. Um, because of her, they, they all have their amazing mom. reasons. Oh, yeah. that they're great, they're, and they're all different. Like, for example, the reason, <laughs> like my favorite girl, like I, that I know that I'm gonna like in the mom and the anime, um, Asumi, the, the purple haired girl, she's a tease, and that shit's like oh, great. <laughs> <laughs> like I, that, that makes yeah, that yeah. does things for you, love. Uh, sorry, um, ramen. That's we know that we heard that. Like, why you guys? There's some things that. She's, what? You like girls that are Sorry? tease ramen? He goes a little yes. further than that if you watch his uh, his uh, love well, then it's a, <laughs> reaction. Oh, it's, a oh, it's a wonder you haven't watched Data be, Live yet. She can be, where are you, season two? Anyway, um, <laughs> sorry, I lost myself. My, I lost my composure there for a split second. Talking about so, she can be <laughs> is best girl. What's the next one? Okay. Um, uh, next one is... If- Why the hell are you here, teacher? <laughs> yeah, no, this is the man. greatest manga I have ever read. It is the greatest. Know, I'm still waiting for the uncensored episode. The manga. Is so- I'm okay, this I, up know, too. I know. Laura is not even is going to completely bypass this because they have bigger than a chests. So yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> hey, hey. No flat chest. <laughs> hey, what? C and lower is fine. Okay, okay. Then you I'm might left- like the newest girl because she's and like. To be honest. To be brand- honest. Yeah. Um, mm. I, I, I was. I was go. I was think like uh, I was not sure this was not um, on my radar, and the thing is, I'm probably not going to be doing reactions to I'm it. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not going to be watching this one. I have. Um, I, I, I don't. Well, okay. My parents and my brother know about my YouTube. I'm not going to watch this. <laughs> I I don't want to get a call. What are we talking about? I just heard someone no, 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 <laughs> saying okay, something I, I'm saying about I'm my gonna, yeah. uh, very I'm, subtle preferences. I only I only, <laughs> I only react to it if YouTube. Ask for it. Not yet. Okay, like I said, no. my parent. I don't want my parents to be like. So, uh, son, I saw that you were watching um, hentai. <laughs> I I turned on and you were like, oh, when there was a, a teacher on a toilet, so there was something wrong with you. <laughs> we need to have a talk. <laughs> uh, what are we talking about? We're, well, talking, we're talking about, about why are you here, Sensei? Yeah, why the hell are you? Yeah, this one. about the high school. Nande koko ni sensei ga. The busty. Oh, that. Oh, the oh, the the hell are you over that? I was considering maybe watching it, but I nothing appeal. Not, nothing on the cover appealed to me, so I yeah. just kind of skipped. The it first over. teacher is yeah, great because she's like a Why tomboyish. Am I not surprised? Yeah, the the first teacher is great because like she's this tomboy. No, actually, no. I would. T- she's like this very serious, but like has this cute side of her. But the last one, the silver-haired teacher, by God, she blew past all the other teachers, and I'm like, yep, 
<laughs> best girl. Because she's, I think she's the, like the, the, yeah. the first episode. None of them look really like best girl material, in my opinion. The oh, first episode yes. really had me like I was just legit like the fucking sn- like snickering and chuckling. Like I just, I literally sounded like the joke, the Joker, because that 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 the whole scene that played out was absolutely hilarious. Yeah, I, I know there's more. I, I yeah, I wouldn't mind this show as much, but the thing is, the whole the reason the, the, the thing that um ruined it for me, and that's why I'm waiting for the uncensored version, is the censor itself. I like, want to it's see just those goddamn It is 100% That's backless. exactly that's what like, I was afraid of. And that's why I'm just like, I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the uncensored version, the and then I'll watch it then. I heard it come out the last first. teacher has first. inverted nipples. That's yeah, true. What? <laughs> so if it, Wait, what? If it comes out on... <laughs> If it comes out on Thursday, if the uncensored version comes out on Thursday, I'm going to be watching. Yeah, I'm on that. Sh- I'm uh, on that. Said shit. the last teacher, the girl with the silver hair or white hair, has inverted nipples. Take yeah, and I said nipples. what because I, I couldn't believe you just said that. It, it, that's that's a thing, huh? Yes, and it's fantastic. Oh, boy, yeah. Until until they get into situations. So it, it goes into that kind of detail. Is what oh, I'm asking. Oh yes, what? there is full on like, what is this random squishy thing that I'm touching? This is not a ball. And the teacher's like, oh, no, I, I for some reason, I can't tell him that he's grabbing Or me. maybe it is the ball. <laughs> I don't want I don't want that. No. <laughs> that, a softball ball. You can tell when they're more, like, wall-shaped. <laughs> Well-shaped? What? Like, pear-shaped. What? Why are we talking about oh, titties? Boy. We, we um, are legitimately talking about anime titties now. You brought it up in very specific detail. I know. I know. This is my fault. Because... The thing, the thing I was going to quickly bring up is that if an Uncensored version doesn't air oh, until, like, the show is over, I'm, I'm just going to uh, read the manga. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna just going to start reading the manga. Yeah, yeah. Just, read just the start manga. reading the manga. Just start reading it and, and enjoy the uh, greatness that is to come with uh, some of the uh, teachers. Oh, boy. So, no, yeah, that, yeah. oh, yeah. So, would appeal to someone with superior tastes in that manga? Um, or, um, you mean lesser taste? A, 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 you because she has, like, an A cup. That's about it. Wait, what? Say that again? <laughs> the newest teacher in the month will appeal to you because she has an A cup. All right, I'm reading it's it. It's the fifth teacher. <laughs> oh, I'm just waiting for the right. sixth teacher because she looks more interesting. Anyway, the, the rest of the shows, besides of Carol and Tuesday, don't really look too appealing. Carol and Tuesday, I'm yeah. not looking at it because it's a... It's nothing a, else appeals from it to me at all. Uh, at all. Like, about 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 nothing it. else here. Oh, so Waki yeah. Kitsune no Senko-san, it's, it's a very popular manga, and that's... It looks, judging from the PV, it looks really cute, yeah, so I'm definitely going to be watching show. that one day. And there's, um, this, there's this guy in our Discord that likes to post that. But the one that I want to... Let's talk about it and end it is Nobunanga Sensei no Osana Zuma. And wait, 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 what, what? It's, it, it's a little far. It's a little far. Nobunaga down. Sensei no Osana Zuma? Yes. Oh, here we go. Yeah, that that's the one with the that's probably that's one of the the fourteen year old. Right? Yeah. Um. There's there's a there's a girl there on the bottom right of that thing that is I think uh, oh, okay. one of those one. things that I like to call a uh, freak of nature oh, or a big titty lolly. Oh. Remember. You mean you mean, uh, you mean your favorite kind of love? You mean that that's the one that you always uh, dream about? <laughs> Look at him with the Zuko. Who's that girl from um, that, that, Gyaru, that Gyaru one? The Gal one? Oh, no, Gal. Oh, God. Oh, God. I don't want to remember that. <laughs> Please, no. Please, no. This, one, this one's only seven minutes. Seven minutes per episode, this Oh, this I actually thing. might watch it and go to jail. <laughs> oh, God damn Okay, hold on. Let me so it actually synopsis. might be really funny, but at the same time, I don't, want, one day, I don't know. A one day, a girl who loves me will suddenly appear before me. Middle school teacher Nobunaga has always been dreaming. Already, of right there, reality. right there. That's when someone, someone starts picking up the phone <laughs> as you're reacting to it. Uh, has always been dreaming. No, right? well, I've, saw no, okay, I've, situation. I've seen the first episode, right? And the, right off it? the bat, I can't, I literally said out loud, what the fucking <laughs> hell is this pedophiliac and shit? <laughs> you know, I'm actually I want to watch it because I want to see just how terrible it is. The moment she says like, the moment she says like, "Oh, I'm slated to be, I'm slated to be your wife," I'm just like, I, I, I really just. It's I, already I, worse I than Arrow Manga Sensei. Like just, see, just, see, just by the premise. Sensei, at least they're like, all no, young. This one, it's a, it's a read, teacher. This, 
Look at the sense. Uh, what's it called? Cinnamon. Uh, cinnamon. You know what the, the bad. You know what the bad thing is. That teacher. That teacher. That teacher. That te that te yeah, that teacher for this one. No, I also doubt that this <laughs> this uh this show is gonna have an elf to make up for everything. <laughs> well, there is no elf. Yamada well, sensei. I... Yep. <sighs> well, I, I, I thought the other girl with the shorter hair, the one that cuts off her fingers every time she fails, is the best girl. Well, what? Wait, what? Well, it's not, you know what? Wait, I, th I didn't know you were that wrong, uh, Ramen. I thought you were more right about this. Wait, wait, no, wait. No, what? Um, the uh, the the girl with the kimono, like it was actually stated that um, every time she like made a mistake, she would pull off one of her fingernails. That's why her Ooh. fingers were bandaged. Yeah, no, yeah, no. It was kind of creepy, just slightly. She's kind of no. she kind of crazy. I do, I do like her though. Uh, um, it's just, nobody's as bad as Sagiri. Can so, we, yeah, yeah. Can we <laughs> everyone go, beats yeah, her. I hope, hopefully, we can go on. I mean, I think we could, uh, I think we talk that one out. Um, can we go with this one? This is by Silver Link. I mean, this was after the teacher. Mira no Aoichan no wa benkyo wa dekinai. That also known as um, Aoichan can't study. Oh, uh, I've heard good things about. Time. I've heard interesting things about it. Like I've heard mixed reviews. Yeah. Okay. That so one? I reacted to this uh, like a little later on. Uh, I know a lot of some other some other my other the no, more known reactors actually you know reacted to it. It was in a separate stream, right? And I'm just looking at this, and then at one point I was oh, literally just... say saying out said out loud during the stream, "What y'all? The hell y'all got me watching?" That's <laughs> what I just say. <laughs> Those are the okay. best kind of shows to react to. Because I just I just, okay. So there's the part where the guy. God damn it. Aoi, it, it didn't hit me until later on. I'm just like, wait. Aoi's, Aoi's name, it, Aoi's name is, it has to be the worst way, has to be the worst sort of meaning I've ever seen. Because apple, A as an apple, and O as an orange. So what does that translate to when you put Aoi? Oh, Aoi on some of that. Is it, this is this is just this is just ridiculous. This is just so freaking ridiculous, man. I'm it very confused like a, right now. Yeah, it's. I yeah, you, please. Uh, it's in I, the synopsis. I don't, wanna, I don't want to make you suffer with. You'd have to try to watch for yourself, but I don't think you would particularly enjoy it. I mean, you could look at the. It, it is hard we're talking about the manga, the manga but <laughs> it's not. But I really don't know how, how to really recommend this to you because uh, it is a set. It is a twelve minutes, so. Um, I will say that I think it's better, a uh, way better than uh, Weno for the time being, because at least you can fucking laugh, laugh instead of just hit hit or miss. Like she, okay, this girl right here, right? She is seemingly, par she is like always having this inner thought, just par, just you know, sort of, just as if some sort of paranoid about something, and she's like put put into these put into these sort of situations, and the the. The kind of gag is her overreacting to stuff, to stuff, or having this sort of sort of weird fantasy. With sounds kind of like the amazing anime and series called "It's Your Fault I'm Not Popular," oh, or oh, Watamote. Watamote. Yeah. Watamote. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It, yeah. It, it is yeah, actually sort of. I, I doubt it can top that though, because that's really good and amazing to watch reactions to. Oh well. But there aren't many, unfortunately. I'm not. Uh, I can't, I, can't gets... say that. I cannot say that for myself regarding one of both tape, but I know it was a series that you just either you just really have to one of is one of those where you're not meant to enjoy it. You're meant to see this you're meant to cringe at the at the well, Yeah, but it's enjoyable it cringe yeah. and relatable cringe sometimes. So yeah. it, it it can be enjoyable, but it's even more enjoyable to watch other people suffer watching it. Well yeah. I, well, if, if, I'm not gonna lie. If I was doing reaction, if I was doing reaction to it when it was still around, yo, yo, you would see, you would see me just smacking my head on on the desk just every time this girl, the girl fucks up on something. Like seriously, it, it just it it like when I wa when I was watching it, it was just like, why? I was just like, I would just be crying out. Why would? Why did you hold back on this? Why did you decide not to do, to do this? Why are you overthinking that? Like. That, that so, me an interesting crazy. thing about that, an interesting thing about that, is that further on in the story, she does get better and improve over time. So I'm sure you'll be like a little relieved to know that she doesn't stay that way. 
Oh yeah, I mean that. I mean that's the whole. But I don't think that that's a. I don't think it did enough. Well, the adaptation by itself did enough to warrant a second season. But a second season could be helpful. But at the same time, you think you you'd have to think like it. Would, I was talking would, about Watamote, not the other thing. Yeah. Um. So yeah, this is kind of like a a watered down version of that. Maybe I, I not really good. Parent. Not not so sure if it's a good enough comparison, but uh, let's move on. And uh, this next one, right? Wait, uh, wait, okay. I think that's about it from any, like. Yeah. No, I no, no, no wait, to... wait, hold, on, hold. On. There was a couple. Of, there were a few more shows I want to talk about. Well, you guys didn't want to talk about Precure. Uh, pre. I don't. No, we. Don't. I don't watch Precure. I don't watch. I didn't. I never watched. Uh, I, watched. I was being sarcastic. I don't even know what <laughs> is. Okay, so. I do want to talk about this one in particular, um, cause it's by Bones, but the but the animation of it is the typical the Bones that a lot of contemporary fans are going to be. Uh, King Cow on True Side. Yep. Yeah. It's okay. twenty four episodes, and right off the bat, I can tell that this the sort of anim- like character designs remind me a lot of from the stuff from Eureka Seven, which was also done by. But it was a completely different sort of design, design-wise, from like stuff you usually see in Mob Psycho, uh, Star Driver, Little Hero Academia. Okay, Star Driver's a little unfamiliar, but it, the, the the animation is the same. But it, it reminded me of the characters from Eureka, Eureka Seven. But the animation is a lot cleaner, and uh, the um, <clears throat> the premises of it. I'm not really sure what to That is say, the most boring but, uh, premise of an interesting uh, setting that I've ever seen. <laughs> it, I mean, so, honestly, like, if you're not into, like, if you're not into, like, music stuff, you're not going to like it. Guaranteed. Yeah. yeah I, yeah, I just kind of feel like the setting is kind of in there for no reason. Yeah, but I... But this is something where... Uh, it, it's kind of like... It's sort of a person... A sort of personal bias thing here, but... The th- the thing is like uh, you just want you just want to see like how the how they're gonna you know how it's gonna set up some sort of character now but now it now of course like, we know that it's not gonna be uh it's not gonna be oh, okay. to every, everybody's uh, taste <laughs> but um they're but uh, it's probably, oh, they're basically basically they're like two different uh, two different uh p two different uh individuals from you know two different parts of the Two different parts of the of the world, like one from the urban, and one from a um, some a suburb, some some sort of suburbans, or like basically there's one from the one sort of some scrapping scrapping down from like maybe like the alleyways or, or city or something, and they just kind of get together, they just find an it's a, it's a common interest and uh, the kind their sort of relationship in trying to pursue their dreams. It's kind of happened from there. Now it's not the most appealing thing to be honest, though. But this is something for me that I'm gonna personally put tabs on. But uh, that's uh, that's just for me. I, I can't really. I there's not an easy way to recommend it for anyone else unless if they're really into 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 bone stuff. So um, okay, okay. So there are three shows I want to talk about for for the spring season. Jesus Christ! All right, so. <laughs> Okay, so I, I'll, okay. I'll, I'll I think I'll try to be fast on it. All right, oh, first boy. one is a uh, Senryu Shoujo. Any, are any of you guys watching that? Or playing on watching that? No. Nope. Oh my nope. god. Okay, I would. Okay, I will honestly recommend this show, like the, at least the first episode, to every single one of you guys out here. Hey, is this on the list? Yes, it's called Senryu Shoujo. I would hey, honestly. Post, I was on. Post it in the chat. What was that? Sorry, I post it in the chat so you can I can get okay. to it. Second. But yeah, I will honestly recommend at least the first episode to every single one of you guys here. It is fucking adorable. Like it's only twelve mm. minutes long, but like it's 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 like the comedy is there. It's on point, and the the interaction between two main characters absolutely adorable. It's a good. I think time you guys really like it. It's a good time. Uh, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna. There's no one shows that are only twelve episodes this season. Isn't well, no, no, that? that's not. Oh wait, did I say twelve minutes? No, sorry. Uh, each episode, yeah, like the first episode, is uh, twelve minutes. Uh, each episode is going to be twelve minutes. Yeah. Yeah. Um. There's a lot of shows this season that are twelve minutes long. The thing is, I wonder if they're getting way The thing for. is, uh, quite cool. Um, 
the thing is, I've I've seen I've seen the uh, uh, probably enough of these twelve minute shows with these similar sort of setups to really be you know uh, that amazed that amazed by it. It's to the point where I'm far too used to it that I'm supposed that I'm supposed to be with these sort with this sort of setups. I'm not saying it's a bad one. It's just like it's just kind of there. It's just there for to to if you have time to kill. I mean, it is twelve minutes, like you said before. I mean, four coma manga adaptations are usually pretty short, and there's not a whole lot of, uh, you know, uh, budget put into them. But it's just kind of nice how they, you know, kind of put themselves together. It's not something that attracts a lot of popularity, though, but with these sort of adaptations. Well, I mean, uh, I guess if you watch a lot of, um, like, uh, I guess if you watch a lot of like cute slice of life shows and i guess maybe i can understand why you'd be desensitized to it but like i think you, i think you guys really some of you guys really like it to an extent like just uh give, give the first episode a try you know i yeah. think i will yeah i have seen the first episode it, it is really i am i'm not gonna lie about oh that. you oh you did watch the first episode yeah yeah I all did. right and uh all right and another one uh Kono yo no hate de koi no, uh, called you know or like yes Japanese name is like okay. um, drama and sci-fi huh hmm. Girl, is this, is this, is this Brokeback well. Mountain version of Steins Gate right here uh, there's nothing gay really gay about it okay because um, I've, I've no I've watched the first I've watched the first episode and I'm just like. First episode, yeah. I mean, the first episode was kind of weird. Um, you know I honestly kind of liked the first episode. Like the MC was absolutely hilarious. Um, like I, like I swear. Okay, okay. Oh, he was hilarious, and the this, this uh, is, there doesn't seem know. to be a comedy tag at all. I don't know if friendly if jumping up and tripping until down to your boxers is something that's supposed to be supposed to be hilarious, hilar- like consistently <laughs> hilarious. I don't know what the point of that was. I was yeah, because I was. I don't reacting, know. Maybe it, I was well, reacting. I was reacting like... to it in the same stream where I reacted to the Aoi Chan can study one, and I'm, and I'm just like, huh? I mean, I guess what he's supposed to be the class clown. Okay, but okay, it seems that Ramen is going to you know. Head All right, so yeah. I think the. Yeah, main... I'm glad I actually managed to last until the end. I'm actually surprised too. Yeah, that's surprising. Oh, All right, boy. so I'm just gonna say this real quick about you know. Uh, it's made by the same studio as it's made by Studio Field, the same uh, studio that made Island. Oh, so that's God. basically, uh, my, that's basically yeah. my, and we all know how that ended. So that's basically my main concern about uh, uh, the show. Don't, so, yeah, don't I'm, remind, I'm just hoping. Don't for remind me. Don't remind me of Island. That was a show that I regret putting any that I regret <laughs> having any hopes for from to begin with. I I, I legit hope. Well, I mean the character. I mean the. Animation, like animation, some of the, the soundtrack wise. I mean, it's not. Those are those are pretty solid. Everything else was just like no soul into it. Just and just like nothing, nothing. Like yeah, they, and I don't it, know who, it did feel the, pretty rushed. I don't know what the the guys were you know doing. Like they just just threw a lot of idea ideas about the sci fi stuff and never really came into it. A lot of stuff went unanswered, to be honest. It just like it just didn't finish out right, and the, the ending was just basically mar- like marrying what a par- a mom that apparently looks like looks like the main char- the main uh, heroine, the primary heroine, and I'm just like, oh for God's sake! It's very <laughs> it's very confusing, and it did rush a lot of. Th- yeah, I, and I, one- I would bet. I would like to think that the visual novel, of course, would have done stuff. I mean, visual novels are usually visual novel adaptations are not usually done well, unless if you're talking about stuff like Steins Gate. I have not seen uh, something as a visual novel adaptation done as well as Steins Gate. Uh, what about the Fate series? The Fate series, okay. The Fate series is the Fate series is honestly something that I don't really think. Oh, it's a visual novel. Can compare those two. To be They're honest, so different. Yeah, and I mean, I, and I mean, the Fate series also got their. I'm actually, I'm actually really elated that it, even though I don't play Grand Order, I'm actually really, it's actually nice to see that it has, it's starting to get its own adapt, adaptation. Oh yeah, it's gonna get so good. The things that are gonna adapt, oh my god. 
Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The Babylonia arc and shit. Yeah, it's yeah. gonna it's Camelot gonna be Camelot too. Oh, and, it, yeah. and judging for the PV, the animation show already looks really clean. Yeah. Probably gonna right, react to that. I'm excited. And one last show I wanna talk about real quick. I wanna talk about Gunjo no Magmel, but I don't think we have enough time. But it's called Joshi Kause. Joshi. Apparently it's like a show, like a series about like it has no dialogue, like real actual dialogue between the characters. I heard about that one. It's yeah. almost silent. Oh, it's, I, I watched... Oh, God, I watched this. Oh, you watched like, it? <laughs> you watched and, the first uh, episode? And... <laughs> I didn't react to it, obviously. Um, uh, and all I can just say is... How much, you like, how much do you like thighs, Ryu? I'm traumatized. <laughs> I, say that. I am very confused. What, you didn't right like now. the part where, it did, where one character was playing uh, a song with the other girl's thighs? What? I, I'm just, I just like, I was just sitting there with just, is this a meter? Oh, just my mouth was just, just like, in, just like in utter, in utter, in just like utter disbelief. At, oh like, my at, god! The, I think this might be a good time to just stop. Let's stop right now. Oh, uh, yeah. And, any to anyone who is to anyone who is who is you know listening listening in about Joshi Kase. Um, all I'm just gonna say is, uh, don't. girls squeezing themselves against thunder dies. Uh, no, it don't. I would not recommend this one. I would definitely recommend it if you're. Uh, Unless if you're, if you're like quiet. If you're a man, you're, if you're a man of culture. Hey, depends, I'm the most cultured person like here. All right. No, no, no. no. Oh, <laughs> we're going good. back to this again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't make me start bringing up an accent. I don't even know what it is. Uh, just just wrap this up, man. Just wrap this up. <laughs> yeah. All right, all right, guys. That ends whatever episode this is. <laughs> I still, I still, I still have no idea what episode I'm X. Yeah. It's like ten or eleven. I think it's, I think it's one of those. But yeah. And I missed quite a bit, didn't I? Yeah. Hopefully we'll. Yes, you did. Yes, did. Yes, we'll you did. On the next one, whenever it may be. Hopefully, I mean, next one will be like Maybe. our actual impressions after at least a couple episodes have been out of the shows that we're watching. So, yeah. We'll see what happens. If I manage to actually. <laughs> if I, yeah. All right, guys. This has been Roman from Roman Reviews here. Uh, I'll sign out. Uh, I think we'll use the same exact format as we did for our intros. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Uh, thank you guys for thank you guys for coming out. Uh, this is very. Simple. Just go ahead and check uh, check out my channel for any for for my content, and uh, I'm still trying to decide whether like what other stuff there is in there's a lot of stuff for spring 2019 i'm really looking forward to it a lot of, a lot of a lot of you know hypes a lot of snooze but uh hopefully this season turns out all right so yeah i hope you all have a good day uh thank you for listening this far into the podcast hopefully we didn't bore you too much <laughs> <laughs> depends. um it, yeah i guess depends uh Again, I'm Smiley Reacts. You can find me at Smiley Reacts on YouTube if you haven't done so already. I'm sure uh, Ramen will put like links to all of our um, uh, channels in the <laughs> description. So have a good day, guys, and I'm out. Uh, I'm the Kawaii Crew. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Hashtag fuck memory NK, and I will see you next oh. time. <laughs> oh, oh, you're going to put oh. Lars here. You can't. <laughs> no, just take it. I'm bringing man. that. I'm bringing that back. I all had right. to. Goodbye. That is all. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <sighs>